It's okay, Justin. Stay calm. Just keep calm and admire this beautiful, original poster of your wife. Phineas, I'm sure it's fine. No one's even gonna notice. Yeah, you're right. I'm not just gonna mope over the fact that one of you dyed my fur blonde. In fact, I think I just saw one of my brown furs. The bleach must be wearing out. Uh, yeah, you've definitely outgrown that banana peel. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, have we met before? Ugh, Twitter, it's me, Phineas. What? Phineas, is that you? When did you go blonde? Five months ago. You said nobody would notice. Perception's relative. Sorry, Pete. Wait. <laughs> Very mature, Layla. <laughs> I can't breathe That's the best. Why didn't I think of that sooner? <laughs> a, a Twitter. Don't tell me you just. <gasps> Too late, dude. It's all over the company website. <laughs> See ya. Oh no, you are not posting that. Uh, come on, guys. The show is starting. Hold on, Taylor. I'm coming. Don't hurry. We have at least 10 minutes. Maybe 15 for Maddie. <laughs> Totally worth it, though. Maddie, when I suggested a pink theme, I didn't mean for you to turn into a full-on plastic Barbie girl. <laughs> oh, Annie, haven't you forgotten girl code? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Duh. Besides, when you're made of plastic, life is always fantastic. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Excuse uh, me. Stop, stop Sorry, right sir. There, miss. Coming through. Ugh. Why do I get the feeling that's a lawsuit waiting to happen? Uh, Maddie, wait! I'm so glad you can make it, cuz. Now we can finally- oh, oh no, what's she doing? Ari, didn't I make myself clear last year? No advertisements on licensed property. That includes the original logo. Oh, is that right? Usually there's regulations that say where you can't post posters, and, well, this year I didn't receive any regulations. Rick, you- what? <sighs> Well, it's common sense to not have the sweetener sign on top of the LPS sign. Well, fine. I mean, I just wanted to celebrate five years since the release of my album Sweetener, but sure, we'll move this somewhere else. <sighs> this is what they mean when they say never to meet your heroes. <clears throat> Do you mind? Oh, pardon? Not that I'd want to interrupt the love fest, but could you maybe keep it down just a notch? I kind of want to listen to the music. Oh, of course, darling. We'll keep it down. When the show starts. How is this my life? Dina, there's no reason for you to keep chaperoning me. This has been going on for years now, and you still don't trust me to do things on my own? And on top of that, bows are totally out of style. Why would you make me wear this? Debbie, stop asking stupid questions you'll already know the answer to. You and I and Mom all know how you can be with these ceremonies. And there's no use getting out of those bows, Debbie. These formal outfits are part of the ceremony dress code. Since when do we have a dress code again? You overestimate my capacity, Dina. I have a girlfriend now. There's no need to get back into... Childish routines. What are you looking at? Oh, no, no, Debbie, don't think about it. You're better than this. So much sugar, refined carbohydrates. I. <sighs> See, you worry too much, Dina. It takes a smart, fully realized young adult to know when to resist the urge. And that's during the ceremony, not before. See ya! Debbie, wait, no! Ugh, should have seen it coming. Oh, mom's gonna kill me. Now you didn't hear from me, but for our next TikTok, I was thinking we could get some coat hangers and use the Just Pick Me audio. How could you? 
Tilly, is something the matter? Why don't you take a look for yourself? Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Uh, no thanks. Go back, go back, go. Uh, uh, right, uh, about that. You told me I would be gently patted on the head for this TikTok. I didn't sign up for this G3 slander. Uh, hey, Sophie, weren't we gonna grab some snacks before the show? Oh, that's right, we should probably get some before they run out. And I'll chaperone. Uh, yeah, I don't have a good excuse. I'll leave you two alone to talk. Look, Tilly, I, I can explain. I just... I saw this popular audio trend going on and I wanted to jump on the bandwagon. It was all in good fun and no way meant to be slander. Is that so? Well, you failed miserably. I can't even walk through the studio without random strangers laughing at me. This viral video is ruining my life. Hey, look, it could have been worse. We could have done the just pick me trend on you, but we didn't. Or we could have used audio from Megan Trainers made you look to... And I should probably stop talking. <sighs> look at Justin up there. Basking his face in the limelight as one of the biggest hosts of the LPS Tube Day Award ceremonies. Yeah, feels like yesterday we were hosting the very first LPS Tube Day Award ceremony. Wow. And now we're at the 10th one? Why don't we get a chance at the spotlight this year? <sighs> Crowd's getting impatient. Where are you, Daisy? Wait, why am I just standing around? I'm one of the hosts and Daisy's husband. All of the cast, crew, and fans have been waiting ever so patiently, all 365 days. I, can, I have the right to check up on Daisy and see what's up. How could you let this happen, Destiny? Over 15,000 people on YouTube think I'm a joke. Well, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure on Instagram it's not too bad. It only has 32,000 plays. I think you better stop trying to cheer me up as if your life depends on it. Uh, ladies? Then you stop! Leave me alone! Not until you give me your phone! Uh, Daisy? <sighs> well, that went well. Yo, Daisy. You still in here? Hmm? Oh, yes, Justin. I just finished up my makeup. Just your makeup? You're not even dressed yet. And you know we have the makeup department to help out, right? Well, yeah, but it's LPS Tube Day. Don't our co-workers deserve to have 24 hours off? That's true, but so should you. Justin, thanks to you, Layla, and Phineas stepping in while I was away, you gave me a whole week. I couldn't have asked for anything more. That doesn't count. You had to leave for an emergency. You teamed up with Misty and all the LPS tubers in the world to save our community. And on a day like this, Murphy's Law is totally going to go into full effect. Who knows what could go wrong? Which is why I trust that everything will go right, even if things do slightly go wrong. Uh, you lost me there. It's like I said in our wedding vows. From the moment I first met you and even before that, life has been anything but predictable. Sure, statistics and chat GPT say that the showrunner's absence could lead to lack of communication, disorganization, poor decision-making, quality control issues, and a lack of team morale, but now we've reached ceremony number 10, double digits in nine years. I think we have more than enough qualified experience to handle whatever comes our way. And that's exactly what makes me nervous. Which is weird, usually you're the one that's always nervous. Who says I'm not nervous? I'm not showing it right now, obviously, because I'm also a melting pot of excitement and also nervousness, but also ecstaticness and oh, that's that's not even a word. Uh, I'm 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 just I'm just a mixture of all the feels. Now that sounds more like my wife, but you're right. Ceremony number ten, nine years of hosting these ceremonies. We're well equipped to handle whatever comes our way. What could go wrong? <laughs> You are really pushing your luck. Delete that photo or things are gonna get physical. Don't have to. I'm a free bird, Phineas. <coughs> Give it a rest, Phineas. Everyone clearly knows you still look like a Simpson. What? Whoa, okay, okay, don't get me involved in this. 
Look, if anything, 32,000 plays is a compliment. It means that you meant something to over 32,000 people. How is publicly humiliating my wife a compliment? Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up! I can't take it with a PDA! Okay, it's worse than I thought. Seriously, Ariana. Again? With the promotions? What? I'm not covering the LPS sign anymore. You're still missing the point! This is not all about you! It's not what we wanted. This isn't what we planned. I have to say, I really don't understand. I don't know when or how this happened, but something is really, something's just not right, really wrong. We've, We've got, got to, to get things back where they, they belong. belong. <laughs> Finishing each other's sentences again, aren't we? <laughs> and that's one of the many things I love about you. Whatever happened, we can solve this. We can do this. Oh, I gotta eat. Debbie, wait, stick with what you know. Yeah, totally. We can do it. Oh, I can't fit in this seat. She's gotta go. We, we can, can do, do it. it. Delete that tweet! Keep your voice down low! Not another peep. Not another word. Not another sound! Everybody quiet! quiet. Slowly disgrace- Huh? <gasps> Thank you. Now that I've got everyone's attention, can we all take our seats in a calm and orderly fashion? We should go. The show's about to start. It's starting! You should get to your seat. I think Dylan is waiting over there. Oh, I'm coming, sweetie! Thank goodness. Come on, honey, let's go. I'll be right there. This isn't over. Right, uh... Oh, man. I knew I should have seen that coming. So, are you gonna take down the sign, or...? Yeah, maybe I will. I'll be starring in the movie version of Wicked anyway, so better to promote that than this. Uh, that's not really what I- oh, gosh darn it, why am I even trying to argue with the famous celebrity? That's a bit more like it. Now, are we ready to get the show started or what? Oh yeah, Captain! Uh, wrong reference, Justin. Fine, let me have any fun. No, you're fine, Justin. It was kind of cute. Well, with that being said, let us welcome you to the 10th annual LPS Tube Day Award Ceremony on the Puppy Lover 863 channel. That's right. For those of you just tuning in, you didn't hear that wrong. This is our 10th ceremony, one zero, double digits. I mean, 10 ceremonies, nine years we've been hosting them. I'm surprised we still aren't out of commission after all that's happened over the years. In a span of just nine years from 2014 to 2023, we have seen many incredible nominees, some of which ended up becoming winners, come and go throughout this community, either walking away with an award or we're just happy to be nominated. And this is also the time period when we saw the LPS2 community really evolve from its highest peaks to its stable plateaus to somewhat of a downfall. And hopefully after the ceremony, an eventual resurgence when Hasbro releases new LPS coming 2024. Our community has gone through several ups and downs, many achievements to celebrate, and a couple of challenges we had to face along the way, but we still prevail. Exactly. If LPS Tube was truly dying, then where did all these nominees come from? For those of you who are not quite familiar with this holiday, if this is your very first one, LPS Tube Day is an annual event that was created by a former LPS Tuber named Brown TV. She was the one who initially proposed this idea where we would all come together online to celebrate the one thing we all have in common in this community, which is our love for the Littlest Pet Shop brand. Did I just break the fourth wall there for a second? Oh, okay, okay, just forget that bit. But my point still stands. And this channel's way of celebrating our annual event is by hosting an annual awards show to recognize many of our talented LPS creators, LPS characters, and LPS content out there on YouTube and beyond. Earlier this year, we put out an instructional video with a link to a Google form 
where you could nominate or suggest LPS tubers, LPS characters, and LPS videos that you think should win each award, if they haven't won one already. And once those nominations were all tallied up and calculated, the top responses were then qualified to be nominees for the year of 2023. That led to us posting another video with another Google form where you could vote one nominee per category. And every year, we announce all of the nominees as well as the winner and runner-ups for this year's roster of awards. And just like last year, we have 23 awards to hand out tonight, from most creative LPS tuber to favorite LPS couple the ship, all the way up to the original best LPS short skit. And a reminder to everyone that the nominees and winners weren't selected by us solely. We can't just pick the winners and nominees on our own. These were all suggested by you guys, the viewers. All of the nominations and votes were exclusively viewer based. For those of you watching the ceremony who have nominated or voted or did both of those things, thank you so much. It may not have seemed like much at the time, but it is thanks to every single person's contributions that we are able to recognize and award these incredible creators, characters, and videos. This award ceremony is also the perfect time to hand out some shout outs to some of our fans at home. Shoutouts are something we've consistently done on our channel up until Puppy Lover 863 went to grad school. But the basic gist of how shoutouts work is that you would leave a comment below using the certain hashtag and answer a question that's given out at the end of each video. And this year's shoutouts were already selected from this year's voting video. We'll leave links in the description for the nomination and voting video for those of you that want to learn more about the process. On this year's voting video, we asked viewers to leave a comment below using the hashtag LPSTubeDay2023 and answer somewhat of a meta question. If you won an award on LPS2 Day, what would your thank you speech be? And those viewers who commented using the hashtag and answered the question in the voting video were automatically entered into a drawing for a chance to be one of 20 shoutout winners in today's video. So please refrain from leaving comments in the live chat or in the comments because shoutout winners have already been selected. And those that do win a shoutout will have their YouTube username written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas, which we've been keeping track of since 2017. That's so many people! Where did you guys all come from? Okay, so is that everything everyone should know? I believe so. Oh! Another thing, one more thing I want to add is that while it seems like we're the only ones running this show, we have to thank our incredible LPS Tube Day team for making this happen. From lower thirds, to metal designs, to becoming the co-hosts themselves, you may spot a familiar faces today. Some of your favorite creators may have been mentioned in today's opening credits, and we will spotlight them and more in the end credits during the awesome dance party! Justin, spoiler alert! Well. We, we end the show with a dance number every single year! We're too predictable at this point, and you know it. Alright, fair enough. So, with that in mind, we're not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Now, are we gonna start the show, or what? <laughs> Alright, let's get right on to it. And I think it's only fitting that for our first co-host of the evening, we have our original host from the very first LPS Tube Day Awards ceremony, Starlight Spaniel and Josh Craig. Come on up, guys! Do you hear that, Josh? Oh, right! It's about time they recognized our OG awesomeness. I know exactly what we should say for this one, too. Come on! <laughs> What's up, people? It is good to be back! I will say, out of all the years I've spent working on this team, it is such an honor to be able to come up and present to you guys the first award of the night. It was especially a true honor that nine years ago, on this day, me and Josh had the pleasure of show running the entire first LPS Tube Day award ceremony. And now, here we are, in double digits, we just added a zero to that number. Man. Every May 10th for the past nine years, we've hosted an awards show. And such an arbitrary number, too. Uh, who even thought that May 10th would be a good day? Uh, Josh, Daisy and Justin just said that Brown Bee TV came up with the day. But that is a good question. Why did we choose May 10th? 
It's interesting that the actual date is double the month number, isn't it? Yeah, five times two is 10. Oh gosh, I'm getting flashbacks to all the times tables we did in elementary school. So in this very first segment, we thought we'd share the spotlight with some other quirky holidays that also happen to take place on May 10th. This will surely be quite the segment for all our Taurus Zodiacs watching. Oh, and we also invite our cast and crew from the audiences to shout out any random holidays that happen on May 10th that we may not even heard of. So without further ado, let's start off with National Shrimp Day. <clears throat> oh, I'm craving some shrimp right now. That's sushi, but uh, thanks, I guess? This is a random top of mind holiday, but apparently today is also Mother Ocean Day to celebrate one of the most important parts of our Earth. Earth Day may have passed already, but every day should be Earth Day and Mother Ocean Day to celebrate the planet that we all need to take care of. We're gonna be here for quite a while. Oh, I know another holiday that happens to fall on every May 10th. National Clean Your Room Day, girls. <sighs> Savage much, mom. Really hitting us with the cold hard facts. Oh, we can't leave out one day without shoes day. Um, Justin, we don't wear shoes. None of us do. Oh, uh, can you cut that? It's also trust your intuition day. In hard times, it can be quite the superpower. Let's also acknowledge that today is World Lupus Day. We can help those around us affected by spreading awareness and donating to research for it. We also have to give a shout out in the medical field for National Night Shift Workers Day, National School Nursing Day, and Root Canal Appreciation Day. Today is also a reminder to support your local businesses with National Small Business Day. You're doing amazing, guys. Let's also recognize the front desk workers with National Receptionist Day being today. There's so many important contributions that front desk workers make that are just left unsung. And National Golf Day! <laughs> I really like golf. Of course, we wouldn't leave out golf. <laughs> that was a real hole-in-one answer there, Mr. Williams. And with that, that concludes our segment. There were so many interesting holidays that we never even knew about. Let us know in the comments which one of these holidays you found interesting, and if you know of any other quirky holidays that happen on May 10th. But for now, here are the nominees for Best LPS Short Skit. Losing All My Friends by Possum TV. The Key by Thea LPS TV. The LPS Party Feud by Sugar Diamond. The Night Owl and the Early Bird by LPS Louise. The Real Popular Girl by Sweet LPS TV. Witch's Broom by LPS Festival Films. And Yard Sale Disaster by CCR Television. Outstanding work, everybody. And with nearly 34% of your votes, the award for Best LPS Short Skit goes to... The Real Popular Girl by Sweet LPS TV! Oh my goodness, thank you all so much for voting for me. I honestly can't believe that I won an award for such an old video. I frankly didn't even think that people still watched it or thought that it was funny for that matter. But I hope it made you laugh and I'm glad we as a community can make fun of our silly little popular mean girls. <laughs> Thank you all so much again. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, uh, are we back? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, congratulations on your win, sweet! The Real Popular Girl was followed by our runner-ups, The Key by Thea LPS TV, and Yard Sale Disaster by CCR Television. It's a true testimony showing us that no matter how short or how long a video can be, they can still make an impact making us laugh or cry or just feel all the feels and make us feel something. And with that, let's move on to the shout outs. Our first shout out winner for this year's ceremony is... Riot Customs TV! Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. Oh man, it feels so good! So good! To do all that, justice has now been restored. For this next award, we had one of our fellow co-hosts 
film a short skit for you all inspired by a recent trend from the beginning of this year. Hailing all the way from Instagram, please welcome the stylings of Tail Napkin. <laughs> for filming that wonderful skit. I have to say, in all my years on the LPS community, I've never seen an LPS like that before. In case you aren't familiar with many dog breeds, that LPS custom was inspired by the Borzoi breed of dogs, otherwise known as the dog trending for the let me do it for you audio. Now, unfortunately, Vic, aka Tail Napkin, was not able to join us in full to announce the nominees, winners, and runner-ups, but let's all give them a big round of applause for making this contribution to our ceremony. Thank you so much for filming this wonderful skit. And, fun fact, for designing that unique LPS Borzoi. <laughs> In the words of Raven Simone and Angelina Davis, pets come in all shapes and sizes, and they're all beautiful, and should be celebrated for their differences, whether or not they're a dog or cat. And I hope that skit by Tail Napkin was able to inspire you to help others as well, even in the most unorthodox situations. But we won't leave you hanging any longer. Justin, Daisy, would you care to do the honors? Oh, well... Actually, given the nature of this category, I think it's only fitting that we invite Gail to come up to the stage for this one. Oh, goodness me, what a surprise! <laughs> Go on up, sweetie. All right, well, in that case, come on up, Gail. Oh, darling, you have no idea how happy that makes me. It is such an honor. Uh, ow. Also, how did you get on stage so fast? Oh, darling, haven't you forgotten? I'm a bird, not a flightless penguin. Oh, right, I forgot peacocks can fly. Well, we'll leave you to it, Gail. Congratulations. Much appreciated. Anyways, here are the nominees for Best Diverse LPS Character. Ace from I'm Different by LPS Honey. Bambi Hill from Thorns and Roses by Sweet LPS TV. Brooke Hayes from Popular Remake by MLP Fever. Bub and Belch from Giraffe Girl 12345. Chester from Super Zeros by LPS Alight Paws. Veronica from I'm Blind by Alice LPS. And Zachary Thomas Fitzgerald from Love in the Castle by LPS Rainbow TV. Congratulations everyone, you were all spectacular, striking, picturesque, eye-catching, breathtaking, arresting, amazing, glorious, out of this world, amazeballs. <sighs> That's a lot of words to describe how incredible you all are. Don't ever doubt yourself. And now, with nearly 44% of your votes, the award goes to... Veronica from I'm Blind by Alice LPS. Congratulations! Hi everyone! Thank you so much for nominating and voting and winning Best Diverse Character in LPS Tube this year. Some of you might remember my skit, hopefully, um, you named Veronica right here. And I think it's really important just to show a bit more diversity in LPS Tube. Representation is so important and I'm so thankful for all of your votes and kind support throughout 2022, 2023. What a wild time it's been. Thank you! Marvelous. 
And my best regards go out to the entire blind and visually impaired community. Just know that your contributions to our society are not left unseen and that you do make a difference in this world. Now, Veronica was followed by Brooke Hayes from Popular Remake by MLP Fever and Bambi Hill from Thorns and Roses by Sweet LPS TV. And with that, our next shout out winner is LPS Frenzy! Congratulations, darling! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. And with that, I hand the mic back to Daisy and Justin. I love you all so, so, so much, darlings. Ta-ta! Okay, I was not expecting that. It's actually kind of cute. Yeah, on the bright side, she didn't smudge the camera. <laughs> well, anyways, for this very next award, I think there are one or two pugs from the audience that have something to say for our audience. Come on up, you two. Come on, Charlie. It's our time to shine. Hi, welcome to Chili's, everybody. Wrong place. Oh, I mean the LPS Tube Day Award Ceremony. Now, normally my brother and I would start a segment like this with a casual Vine or TikTok reference but a threat has been made to our self-expression and it's important that we bring this PSA and information to light. Now, as you can see, I've decided to dress formal for the occasion today because this year marks the 10 year anniversary that Vine, yes, the six second clip app, made its debut to the world, only to get shut down in early 2017. Still not over it. Not long after that, the Clock app, named after Keisha's 2011 hit single, made the charts of social media, capturing our attention and our hearts. But apparently, certain people in these supposed states of unity in this very country have decided it'd be a good idea to ban the app nationwide. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. There are plans set in motion to potentially, maybe, ban the TikTok app altogether in this country. I mean, come on! We finally had an award for LPS TikTokers starting last year, and in the second year that comes on, this could be potentially our last award for TikTokers. So, in protest for and in honor of the Clock app, here are some of our favorite current trends, starting with this one. I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands above my head. Wait, we don't have hands. And we can't put them above our heads either. Okay, start over. Come on, bro. We gotta find a way to convince the people that TikTok has the juice. I, I, I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Uh, it's corn. Corn? <gasps> Gimme! <laughs> Talk about a mic drop, am I right? Uh, is this thing on? Oh, you want a real mic drop? There's a new My Little Pony movie. I, I mean, new Little Pet Shops coming out in one year. Really? And how excited are you? <laughs> okay, guys, this is gonna get edgy. One thing about me, I'm the wrinkliest of boys. Believe it or not, I didn't always have poise. 10 years ago, I was doing just fine. Till one day in the app store, I stumbled across Vine. Millions of views and six seconds so quick. Liza, Koshi, Thomas, Sanders, and Nash, take your pick. But in 2017, the vine doors were shut. I was sad, but my brother said, get your mind out the hut. Tick tocks on the clock. So I figured I'd try until some old dudes wanted to ban it. My question is why? Hey, I'm the exception. I love it too. Let's not stop the clock. Let's save the clock. Save the clock. Hashtag save the clock. <gasps> Good thinking, Uncle Leo. Save the clock. 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 That's right, guys. Scream it out loud. Scream it in the comments and in the live chat. Let's save our beloved TikTok app. Let's all stand in solidarity. Not just for TikTok, but for Vine. The app that walked so that the clock app could run. But don't take our word for it. Introducing last year's winner of Best LPS TikToker, Mimi Stars. Hey guys, it's Mimi Stars. Here are the nominees for Best LPS TikToker in 2023. Cuddly 
Bunny LPS. LPS Festival Films. LPS On Fire LPS. LPS Rainbow TV. M Loves LPS. Snag XO. The Ladybug Pillow Pet. With nearly 40% of your votes, the award goes to LPS Rainbow TV. Hey everyone, LPS Rainbow here. You may know me as the creator of the LPS series Small Chains Big Difference, also known as the series that never finishes. But surprisingly, I'm actually here today for not that or YouTube at all, but um, TikTok. Never in my life would I have imagined that I'd be making this video here today, and I don't know what to say. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for me. <laughs> I honestly found it quite a shock. The possibility of me being here today did not come across my mind at all. When I started my TikTok account, I made it just for fun. And to see it grow this way and inspire so many people, it's amazing and I am so entirely grateful for everyone who looks up to me and voted for me and i'll continue or try to continue to make fun and inspiring content for you all thank you again for the nominations i love you all so much happy lps soup day lps rainbow tv was followed by m loves lps and lps on fire lps our next shout out winner aha hey guys did you miss me <laughs> Sorry for interrupting your little show, but I'm here to announce that the next shout out winner is Painted Canvas LPS. C big congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. Okay, anyways, I should better get going before the security guards catch on. Uh, back to you, Destiny. Written on the canvas. My job here is done. Say hi to the next co host, the little pet lover. Cut. That's it for today. Thank you guys. Yeah, no prob. I bet the new music video is going to be super cool. So, time to clean up? Yeah, you know it. It's a never ending process. But hey, thank you for helping me today, Emily. It was really nice of you. Yeah, no prob. I mean, I've done a whole series and a music video, so I'm pretty good at managing people. Speaking of that, you know the real me inside? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're looking at the main character. That series turned 10 years old back in December. No way. I mean, considering how it's already 2023. Oh gosh, where's the time gone? You know what we could do? You know that party from last year? How can I forget the chemical peel? I know it looks really bad, but I just got a chemical peel, new highlights, and blue contacts. Why would you do this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that one. But hey, hear me out. We could have another party, but this time for the real me inside. You mean like a movie event? Yeah, exactly. And we can even have an after party. Yeah, you see, every one of those events kind of run in the same social circles. So I don't want anyone to remind me of the chemical peel. We can have a list or something. You know, just so people on the invite can get in. I mean, it's also an ensemble cast, so it wouldn't be just you. Like, look, over there, we can ask Brett and Cecilia. They're also from The Real Me Inside. Are you guys talking about a party for The Real Me Inside? Yeah, we are. Well, like Amaya said, you can just go to the after party. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, we've been to tons of these events. The cool kids, they all skip the movie and go straight to the after party. You guys are so convincing. Hey, you can expect it. Their management, and we were literally your co-stars. Okay, I'm sold. But just for the after party. And I'm gonna get my lashes done. Nothing invasive. Just don't show up looking like raw tuna again. Yeah, you can definitely count on that. <laughs> um, sorry if I'm wrong, but uh, can I ask you? Are you Emily Hastings from The Real Me Inside? Yeah, I am. Why are you back at the clinic anyway? Eyelash extensions for a movie after party. Whoa, I'm so jealous. I wish I could go. Emily Hastings, we're ready to see you now. Oh, um, I'm sorry. They just called me, so uh, 
I gotta get going now. And you on the couch over there, could you tell me what you wanted to get done today? You know that girl who just went in? I'm looking to get a makeover and I want it done exactly like hers. I'm Emily Hastings from The Real Me Inside. Mm, you on the list? I'd be pretty surprised if I wasn't. I'm the main character of the series. Ma'am, there's some mistake. Emily Hastings is already inside. Do you have an ID? I didn't think I would be needing one, considering how this is literally my after party. Ma'am, you didn't even show up to the movie? Ugh, the real Emily Hastings already did that. Oh, come on. Just let me find Amaya or anyone that I know. Could you please step off the red carpet? Excuse me? Do you know who I am? I know you're not Emily Hastings. The one inside? She already gave me an ID. And you're creating a line behind you. Off the carpet, ma'am. This is outrageous. I can't believe I've been kicked off the red carpet at my own after party. Oh, you're not on the list, she says. Yeah, right. Emily, what are you doing back here? I don't know, Amaya. You can ask the lady at the front. Apparently, I'm already in there. Oh my gosh. If only you knew how easy it was to get into one of these what events. What the? I could have been living my childhood dreams years ago. Oh, it was so easy. I just had to give that dim-witted lady at the front a fake ID, her name, and guess what? She let me right in. Oh, I know. If you want to come, let me know, because I can just sneak you in. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me a sec. Oh shoot. You are in big trouble. Don't hurt me, I swear. I'm just the girl for the medical clinic. So I know you? Come here! Oh my god. Yeah, you'd better run. Okay then. Now, that's been sorted. Oh my gosh. You're back to your original look. I'm done with the makeovers and the contacts and whatever else. I'm just back to being me now, Emily Hastings. Like how I looked in the real me inside. Well, I think that's my favorite look. You know, if we want to dance or have an after party, the end of the LPS tube day ceremony will have a really good one. Totally. And on that note, here are the nominees for best former LPS series. Apocalypse by LPS Cobalt. Half Hearted by Sugar Diamond. Last Lives by Thea LPS TV. Legend of the Lighthouse by LPS Festival Films. Paws and Claws by Sweet LPS TV. Seven by Piers Little Customs. And The Ballad of Sarah Berry by Melanin Studios. Amazing work to all the nominees. Making a series is so much work and you should be so proud of yourselves. Thank you for your incredible contributions to LPS Tube. And with over 28% of your votes, the award goes to Paws and Claws by Sweet LPS TV. Victoria, what is it darling? We won Best Former LPS Series at the LPS Tube Day Awards. Why, of course we did. Who else would win? Hey, there were some other crazy good series that were up for this award. Mmm, that may be true, but only our series has me, darling. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I can't help it. The people just love me. <sighs> Nonetheless... Thank you all so much. This really means so much to us and the rest of the cast from Paws and Claws. We love you all so much. And Paws and Claws was followed by... Seven by Piers Little Customs and Half Hearted by Sugar Diamond. Congrats, guys! So, is this how the cool kids hang out? You guys made it. Yeah, we wouldn't miss this for the world. And you're just in time to announce the next shout-out winner. And our next shout-out winner is... Elle Etchison. Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. Now this is what I call a reunion. I swear, the last time we were together is when we did the speech for this category when we won it two years ago. 
and the way we fought over literally the pettiest stuff for 14 episodes. Oh my gosh. Wow. If you want to see LPS the real me inside all together, here they are. And this is what I call reunited. Now it's time to introduce our next co-host for the ceremony. Hosting the category for best international LPS tuber, let's all give a warm welcome to NLP Fever. I don't think you live here. Come on! I know how you feel today, Brock. Really? So I guess you should stay out? You are a crazy flirt! Maybe, but it's okay. You don't need it either! They even stole my toilet! I can't steal anything. You always make me laugh. Whenever I was with you, you helped me. Can I allow it? How many years ago did we last speak? So I'm not talking about you! Have you ever thought about it? Actually, I don't know. Not enough. Why is this broken? I hate you! I hate you! Why are you here? I hate you! Why? Because I love you! I always have time! I can't think of you! Oh, Brock. Do you know? What is? You'll regret it. What is? We won. Feedback. Huh? You wanted to take it all with me. But really, you gave it all away. The last honor is yours. Have lots of fun with Party Brook. I know you. Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and here are the nominees for Best International LPS Tuber. Alice LPS Amy LPS XD JJ LPS LPS Louise LPS Splash TV Oblivion LPS Short Hair Car LPS Skylar With nearly 36% of your votes, the award goes to... Alice LPS! Congratulations! Ah, thank you so much! I can't believe it's been a whole decade since I started my YouTube channel and I'm still winning awards at LPS Tube Day? That is insane! Thank you! I know I haven't been as active as I once was recently and life has really been getting the better of me, but I'm just so honoured to be nominated and won Best International LPS Tuber this year. After a decade of having my channel running, that is wild! Thank you so much! A big congratulations to all of the runners-up, of course, and everyone else that has been keeping LPS Tube thriving over the past few years. It's so exciting seeing what everyone's going to create next. It's like the river never runs dry for ideas in LPS Tube. Everyone's so creative. Um, but yeah, a big thank you for, for all your votes. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful LPS Tube Day ceremony. Mwah. Alice was followed by Oblivion LPS and LPS Splash TV. Our next shout out winner is LPS Galaxy Girl Izzy. Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas with all the others. And with that award given out, it's time to introduce our next co host for the ceremony. Thank you, Cleo, and welcome back to the main stage, everybody. Our next co-host for the evening is actually going to be one of our cast members from the LPS Mistakes series. You know her, you love her, you laughed and cried with her during both of her movies. Let us welcome you the LPS that gave us a shocking Pink Diamond-esque reveal three ceremonies ago, Jasmine Davis Roberts! Oh, that's me. Good luck, Jazz. Thanks. Oh, 
Um, thank you, Daisy, for that colorful introduction. Today, I am here to speak on behalf of all of the LPS fans, including the pets and humans, watching at home, to address a major topic that members of the LPS community still talk about today. What topic, exactly? Breaking the fourth wall for a second, I'm talking about the generations of Littlest Pet Shops. In case you haven't heard the latest news in the LPS community, Hasbro has recently expanded to multiple subdivisions and have trusted Basic Fun to carry out the revival of Littlest Pet Shops in 2024. And just a disclaimer, this is in no way meant to offend the later generations of LPS that came after Gen 2. I understand that I, some feelings may have been hurt prior to the ceremony, and we sincerely apologize for that. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to vent and share our feelings with Hasbro through this poem as a form of an open letter to Hasbro from the entire LPS community. So, without further ado... <clears throat> Dear Hasbro, our loyal friend, let's talk about a journey from start to end. Littlest Pet Shop, a brand we adore, with designs that changed and sometimes more. In the 90s, Kenner paved the way. Gen 1 LPS, a new display. A simple start, a spark of delight, but Hasbro's acquisition would take flight. Gen 2 came in 2005, a hit so grand. Pink magnets, blue magnets, oh so grand. With paw holes and accessories galore. Unique eye shapes, we wanted more. Sparkles and fluff, they stole our heart. Gen 2 LPS, a work of art. A YouTube series called Popular aired. Their popularity skyrocketed. We were ensnared. But then, in 2013, Gen 3 arrived. Heads that didn't bobble, we were deprived. Legs too thin, eye shapes forced. We were disheartened. And there's my cue to leave. Wait, Tilly, hang on just a sec. There may be more to the story than meets the eye. We called for Gen 2's return, a plea so loud. In 2014, a glimmer. We were proud, but alas, it faded. Gen 3 stayed. Our hopes dampened. Our passion swayed. You sure you don't Gen want me to leave? In 2015, a mixed reception. Unusual poses, tiny accessories, a new direction. But the bobbleheads returned a welcome sight. Not to the past, a beacon of light. Gen 5, in 2017. A familiar look, closer to Gen 2, like an open book. But color schemes and packaging amiss, lack of accessories, we couldn't dismiss. <clears throat> Pardon me? Hey, uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. It was nice while it lasted. Now, we await Gen 6, set for release. Rumors of Gen 2's return, our excitement increase. But we're cautious, we're wary too. Will the designs capture the magic anew? Hasbro, we cherish Little's Pet Shop so with designs that evolve and sometimes plateau. We ask for creativity, quality, and more to capture the essence, the love we've held before. So here's our plea, our heartfelt call for Littlest Pet Shop, the brand we enthrall with designs that delight and stories to tell will be avid fans forever under your spell. Please hold your applause, I'm not finished yet. Before we introduce the next round of nominees, I feel that we owe a heartfelt apology to the third generation of LPS. Huh? As a community, we need to acknowledge the mistakes and take responsibility for the discrimination and hate that Gen 3 received. We were too quick to judge and criticize Gen 3 for being so different from previous generations, and we unfairly blamed them for the choices made by Hasbro during production when it wasn't their fault at all. Every generation of Littlest Pet Shops deserve to be treated with the same amount of respect and appreciation. We should have embraced the diversity and uniqueness instead of rejecting them head on. As we eagerly await the sixth generation of LPS, let's learn from our past mistakes. Let's be a community that celebrates and supports all generations and all types of LPS without prejudice or discrimination. It's time to reduce stigma and promote inclusivity so that no future generations of LPS have to endure the same prejudice again. And with that, on behalf of the entire LPS community, we're so, so sorry.
Thank you everyone for taking a few minutes of your day to listen to this poem. I understand that there's a lot of work that needs to be done in order to reduce that stigma, but I'm glad we were all here to acknowledge and take the first step to undoing the damage that was done. And now, without further ado, here are the nominees for LPS Tuber with Best Designs. LPS Cobalt LPS A Light Pause LPS Festival Films LPS Natalie Mr. Crazy Ray Skyla and Sugar Diamond Great job everybody! Whether your medium of choice is customs, LPS accessories, set designs, or miniature props. Thank you for bringing your unique artistic flair to our community. And now, with over 27% of your votes, the award goes to... Skyla! Congratulations! Oh my god, thank you all so much! LPS Tube has been a huge part of my life for over 7 years now, and this community and this award honestly means so much to me. I love the video making process, although it does take a lot of work, especially if I want to make things look good. But I always try to cross borders with my videos. I wanted to show people that they can do cool things, you know, just improvising. And that they can tell stories in a pretty and cinematic way, even if you're just a bored teenager who doesn't have a lot of money and possibilities. So I put quite a lot of effort into my videos, but I just like making pretty things. And I'm glad that people find my sets, customs and stuff just nice looking. But also, the visual aspect of my videos is not just for the aesthetic effect. I try to use the set design and the characters' looks to tell the story in a more interesting way. The reason why I love film as a medium is that you can use that visual aspect. You can build atmosphere with the sets, show the characters' personalities with the costumes, and that's what I'm trying to do, I guess, to tell my stories. And the sets and the customs are just one part of that. So thank you all once again, and happy LPS today! Great job, Skyla! And can we just take a moment to acknowledge this beautiful beach background with sand and a blue clear sky? It feels like I'm on vacation right now. <laughs> Anyways, Skylo is followed by LPS Festival Films and Sugar Diamond. And now, our next shout out winner is... Max3Dits1! Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next co-host of the ceremony. Everyone, please give a big hand for Lexi, aka Dolly Lolly Playtime! Come on, girls! I need your help filming for LPS Tube Day! What? Why? Because I promised Daisy we'd help out with the Best LPS Comedy Skit Award this year. Oh, well, can we not film just yet? Why not? Uh, because? That's not a reason. Now where's your sister? And where's the award for today? We need it for the video. Oh, I don't know. Well, can you go find it, please? We need it for the video for today. Oh, there you are. Did you clean your teeth? Yeah. When did you clean your teeth? Last night. Go clean your teeth. Oh, I found it! The award? Oh, no, not that. Sticky Gecko! Here you go, sis. Gecky! Uh, no, <laughs> you, teeth, you, award! Now, please, we have less than a minute to do this before I lose all concentration! I just need to do this. Oh, no. Come to Mama, little Gecky! Guys, we're running out of time. We need to get the skit done for the award show. Well, I can't do it until I get Geki down. Ugh. You brush your teeth. I'll catch Geki. Okay. No, no, you go find the award. I'll catch Geki. Okay. Come on, Geki. Come on, hurry up, please, Fall. I finished. Good job. Now let's start filming. We can't start filming until Geki comes down. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go help him, okay? I found the award! Oh, great, perfect, we'll use that. Come on, Geki. 
come on. Get down. <laughs> Let's just keep going, okay? Here are this year's nominees for Best LPS Comedy Skit. Airplane by LPS Emily. Chick fil A Drive Thru by Giraffe Girl 12345. Home Alone by Ethereal LPS. Living with Brothers by LPS Demon Productions. Strange Happenings by LPS Lover and Super Zeros by LPS Alight Pause. And with over 36% of your votes, this year's award goes to Strange Happenings by LPS Lover. Congratulations! We are over the moon to accept this award for our series, Strange Happenings. <laughs> That's right! We rule you, humans! We rule you! <laughs> Take that, Phoebe! Trinity, you know Phoebe is also a part of the series, so technically she won too. I don't see her here accepting the award. You do have a point. It sure has been a wild ride so far. What's been your favorite part? When everyone in town knelt before me and I became their supreme ruler! That never happened! Well, it should. First Willow Grove, then the world! We'll see. Whatever happens, I'll be by your side. I wouldn't have it any other way. It pleases me that Strange Happenings is so fondly remembered. Thank you, loyal fans. And Strange Happenings was followed up by Airplane by LPS Emily and Chick-fil-A Drive-Thru by Giraffe Girl 12345 Congratulations to everyone. It looks like the next shout-out winner is LPS Moonlight Mail. Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be on Puppy Lover 863's Canvas. Happy LPS Tube Day! Aw, happy LPS Tube Day to you too, Alexi, and welcome back to the main stage, everybody. For our very next segment, where attention, everyone, I have an oh, announcement. What? Ugh. What are we, bowling pins? Don't you mean we have an announcement, Rick? Oh yes, I do. Rick, Molly, what are you up to this time? What's so important that you have to interrupt our ceremony? Oh, trust us, Daisy. It's super, super important. Is that so? Is it really that important for us to not call security on you? It is. Look, our actions of the past may have been unacceptable and rude and just straight up unreasonable. But for the sake of ceremony number 10, me and Rick have decided to put aside our differences with you all and cooperate on things. Cooperating? You're probably wondering what we mean by cooperating. Thank you, Justin. By that we mean- Rick and I are dating! <gasps> what? Is this for real? Oh, Phineas, it is indeed real. After spending years of spying and scheming side by side, I couldn't help but fall in love for this lavishing chihuahua. I don't know if it's his cute beard or dorky beanie, but something about him just, you know, turns me on. Well, I've seen enough. Security! Wait, Daisy! Hear them out for a second. Huh? Destiny? This is big news for the entire channel! Our conspirators and rivals turned lovers? Now that's a juicy story for social media. And... <laughs> hopefully make up for my previous social media post. Well, I guess I don't see why not. Perfect! Shall we continue? Continue? Uh, hello? With the next segment, silly. Don't you think would be a great fit? Uh, I guess so. 
Don't do anything stupid, guys. We've got our eyes on you. Hey, <laughs> look at us, side by side, announcing for the next category. And this time we're here to introduce this next category, not as criminals, but as your fellow colleagues. But you don't even work here. Well, duh, we know that, Layla. <clears throat> I'm just saying, colleague in terms of our alignment with one another now. Anyways, this next category is a two-for-one deal, if you know what we're getting at. There are hundreds of thousands of different kinds of pets in this community that have played many roles in the content that is produced. These are the kind of pets that know how to get their act together, playing as many different characters that a lot of us can resonate with to some degree. These characters are so fleshed out, they go beyond the stereotypical Disney Channel tropes of enemies turned lovers, or that one quirky friend that likes to hang out at the main character's palace and annoy their parents. We all know those Disney Channel tropes. With that in mind, would you care to take it away, Rick? <laughs> yes, honey bun. Here are the nominees for Best LPS Actor. Chase Grayson from Last Lies by Thea LPS TV. Chester from Super Zeros by LPS Alight Paws. Cody Harris from Half Hearted by Sugar Diamond. Dakota Edward from Eternally Yours by Cuddly Bunny LPS. Dash Erickson from Love is Blind by Mimi Stars. Miles Bennett from Mystery of the Masked Killer by LPS Natalie. And Sage Bond from Popular Remake by MLP Fever. And now, with nearly 40% of your votes, the award goes to... Chase Grayson from Last Lives by Thea LPS TV. Hey, Addy. Yeah? Did you know that Chase was nominated this year for the LPS Tube Day Awards? He's been talking about it non-stop. I knew he was nominated, sort of. Well, is this exciting news something I already knew? No, but Chase just won the Best Actor Award for the LPS Tube Day Awards. His ego was gonna fly through the roof if we tell him. Maybe if we let him know during lunch- Trinity just told me that I won Best Actor for the awards. Is that true? Or he already knows. First of all, I want to say thank you all so much for allowing me to entertain you in all of the series you've seen me so far. We appreciate every single one of you who have voted. I'm also grateful to have even been voted into this category because there were so many amazingly talented actors. So thank you so, so much for your amazing support throughout Last Lives High Society. As the LPS TV's first British character, I am very honored that you all like my personality as much as I do. Thank you all so much for this honor. I am quite speechless, but I will continue to entertain you throughout my projects. Thank you all once again. Congratulations, and here's to hoping that the paparazzi doesn't chase you down all day after this. Anyways, Chase Grayson was followed by Sage Bond from Popular Remake by MLP Fever, and Miles Bennett from Mystery of the Masked Killer by LPS Natalie. And now our next shout out winner is... Inky LPS, congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. All right, Rick, move aside. It's the ladies' turn. Little back, you're in my spotlight. <laughs> there you go. Okie dokie. Now for the nominees for Best LPS Actress. Ash from The Orphan by LPS Honey. Everly Dons from High Society by Thea LPS TV. Emiza Robinson from Mystery of the Masked Killer by LPS Natalie. Lavender from Lavender by LPS Cobalt. Sydney from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. Victoria Middleton from Paws and Claws by Sweet LPS TV. And Zoe Monroe from Love is Blind by Mimi Stars. Congratulations, ladies! Hey, you know, you could have just told me to stand back. Okay, stand back, please. Thank you. And now, with over 40% of your votes, not nearly, Rick, over, 
With over 40% of your votes, the award goes to... <gasps> Wouldn't you know it? Everly Dawns by High Society by Thea LPS TV. Eva. Oh, hey, Chase. What's up? Remember how you were nominated for the ceremony this year? Yeah. Well, you were just voted Best Actress for the ceremony this year, Ev. Wait, what? Yeah, come take a look. Hi, everyone. Thank you so, so much for voting for me this year for Best LPS Actress. I am so grateful that you guys love the series. Even if you've been supporting me as a character from Last Lives or High Society, I just wanted to say thank you all so much. You mean the world to me and I can't wait for you to see me in more projects in the future. I'm so grateful that you all love my character and that you resonate with her. Thank you all so much and I am eternally grateful. <laughs> okay, bye. Congratulations, Everly. You did amazing. And she was followed by Ash from The Orphan by LPS Honey and Zoe Munro from Love is Blind by Mimi Stars. Hey, after this, can you give me their phone numbers? Congratulations, everybody. Rick, I, I told you not to interrupt me. Well, you've been interrupting me this whole time. You're not even giving me a chance to speak. Come on, baby. I told you not to interrupt me, Rick. This is the LPS actress category we're talking about. And don't call me baby. You should equal pay me. Molly, stop shouting. People are staring. How are we supposed to pull off this act if you can't even... Oh, an act, you say? So you two aren't really together after all? Uh, uh, I didn't say that. He didn't mean any of those things. All couples fight, don't you? Well, if you two are really in love like you say you are, then prove it. And how do you expect us to do that? Hmm, how about a smooch? <gasps> Don't mind if I do. With each other, not me. Seriously, Molly? <gasps> oh, uh, sorry, reflex. <laughs> <sighs> fine, fine, we'll prove it. We're so in love. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, wow. Well, everyone, in an unforeseen turn of events, we have a new pair of lovebirds in this studio. Looks like we have our brand new couple of the year! Uh, no, you got me, you got me, you got me. I don't really love him. What? Molly, what are you doing? Ugh, can it, Rick? Who are we kidding? We can't pull off this act. Ugh, just the thought of... Uh, my heart belongs to Justin and no one else. Well, uh, this all went according to plan. Well, in that case, take him away, boys. Wait, no, 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 not yet. We still have to announce the shout-out winner. Uh, our next shout-out winner is Violet Moondrop. Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. Well, I thought we were great together. Oh, what am I saying? No, we're not. You know what to do, Schnauzer. Yeah, 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 take me away. Whoa, that was... Uh... Something? Yeah, 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 that was definitely... something. Well, now that that is over, it's time to introduce the next co-host for this event, LPS Savvy TV. There, balloons are done, just like last year. <laughs> Let's see. Everything so far looks good. Hey, Aiden. Oh, hey, Lex. Did Autumn task you with all the preparations for LPS Tube Day? You know it, but I don't blame her. Last year was a little crazy here, but hopefully everything goes smoothly this time around. <laughs> True, but it was still fun nonetheless. Yes, yes, all the preparations are almost there, Savvy. No worries, please don't worry. I promise, it's all in place. You test Brandon with what? Oh, dog. Well, he better have gotten the right one. And size. Okay, don't worry. I'll make sure of it. Bye. Oh, dog. Have any of you two seen Brandon? 
Come to think of it, no, I haven't. Didn't you send him off to go get the dessert? Yes and no. Savvy tasked him. He's just been gone for too long. I'm getting concerned. You both know how he is. <laughs> hey guys. Autumn, I ordered the dessert. You're going to love it. I also made a quick stop to Starbucks. You're welcome. Um, Brandon, where's the dessert? I bet you he went overboard. Oh yeah, most definitely. Hi guys, the dessert's here. Come on in. Dessert specialty delivery for Mr. Brandon. Tails. And for Kelsey Barker. Duh, that was underneath as well. Oh my dog. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna finish up the preparations for the celebration. Yeah. Well, uh, all right then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome to our crazy set here. This year, Aiden and I get to be the host to award the next favorite LPS couple to ship. Since we won in a previous year, this year we get to award and tell y'all who won this year for 2023 LPS Tube Day. Without further ado, here are the nominees for Best LPS Coupleship. Arya and Faye from What They Don't Know by LPS Dove. Brooke Hayes and Savannah Reed from Popular Remake by MLP Fever. Chase Grayson and Everly Dons from High Society by Thea LPS TV. Cody Harris and Victoria Woods from Half Hearted by Sugar Diamond. Dash Erickson and Zoe Monroe from Love is Blind by Mimi Stars. Michelle and Sydney from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. Oliver and Owen from True Colors by LPS Cobalt. And with over 34% of your votes, the award goes to... Chase Grayson and Everly Dawns from High Society by Thea LPS TV. Congratulations! Well, what if we had a plot twist? I think we need to focus on the couples that are currently in the series. What about... Chase and Everly. Chase and Everly. They do have a lot of chemistry together in the series. I just got an email from Amanda saying they were voted favorite LPS couple to ship this year. I think we're gonna need a lot more coffee to finish this next script. Thank you all so much for voting us as best couple to ship this year. We've been featured in two series together. And while both series have similarities with each other, with our backstory, they also share differences with our connection and how it's presented in two separate plot lines. Eva and I didn't know that the ship between me and her, which is Trevor, I guess, if you will, was that popular within the High Society fan base. So seeing this was very honoring. We will see you guys very, very soon in the series. Thank you all so much. Chase and Everly were followed by Brooke Hayes and Savannah Reed from Popular Remake by MLP Fever, and Michelle and Sydney from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. And without further ado, our next shoutout winner is LPS Haven. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. And now it's time to introduce our next co-host for the ceremony. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we back? Uh. Yeah, you, you didn't hear us talk, baby talk. We can just forget that ever happened. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to the main stage. It gives me great pleasure to introduce who I feel is sort of the drama of our family. Please welcome my cousin, Destiny Davis. That's your cue, baby girl. Oh my gosh! Wait, is that me? Am I the drama? I think I'm the drama. Okay, well maybe a little bit. Yeah, she's the drama. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. 
I am just over the moon that I get to like co-host for you again this year. Oh my gosh, it feels like yesterday. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge how far we've all come as a community and how hard the cast and crew here has worked to make these annual events happen. I find it amusing that we're all here pretending to be impressed with each other's work when we know deep down that it's all just for show. Wait, what? No, I didn't say that! On another note, it's interesting how everyone here is dressed in expensive clothes, yet we're all still trying to prove our worth through external recognition. Uh, excuse you? Who do you think you are? And who invited you anyway? Wednesday Adams. For the record, I don't believe that I'm better than everyone else. Just that I'm better than you. Wait, THE Wednesday Adams? Oh my gosh. Well, never mind that. Look, this ceremony is different. It's not just any old awards ceremony where grade A celebrities compete with each other. We're collaborating to celebrate the one thing we all love most in our community, which is Littlest Pet Shops. You know, us. Littlest Pet Shops. Perfect representation of our society's obsession with consumerism. Well, au contraire, Miss Adams, we're not just single-use plastics that are thrown away and discarded on a beach left to rot. We mean so much more to thousands of people and have made such a positive impact on their lives through our films. And I can see how much effort you're putting into making those people happy. It's just disturbing to see people prioritizing their plastic pets over the well-being of real animals. Well, I'll have you know that unlike real pets, we'll last a whole lifetime. Your words elude me, Destiny, the same way the truth eludes you. As a matter of fact, we're all destined to die someday. Or, I guess you and your community have. Okay, now here's the thing. I- Ah! Uh, not that thing! Ah! <laughs> ah! Headless cat, I- ah. You wanted a thing? Here's the thing. Uh, uh, well, thank you for joining us tonight, Thing. Is there anything you want to say or tell our audience? Uh, Wednesday, care to translate? Thing admires your resilience. Despite the imminent odds of obsolescence, oblivion, and discontinuity among your kind, you all put in a collective effort to survive among the fittest brutes of capitalism and the unwarranted censorship of self-expression by means of ignorant leaders who cower to threats of political control. Honestly, I wish I cared a little more. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Uh, would you care to do the honors? <sighs> Without further ado, I announce the sea of hopeful souls dressed in their finest costumes waiting to be judged and rewarded for their performances for Best Dramatic LPS Video. Copycat by Oakstar LPS Experiment 58 by Mr. Crazy Ray Half-Hearted by Sugar Diamond High Society by Thea LPS TV Masks by LPS Louise. Mystery of the Masked Killer by LPS Natalie. And The Orphan by LPS Honey. All of your films have successfully tortured the fragile emotions of your audience. I thank you for that. Okay, thanks Wednesday, but I think I can take it from here. Looks like we're no longer a wanted thing. And here I was worried that we would never leave. And now, with exactly 35% of your votes, the award goes to... High Society by Thea LPS! Hi guys! Thank you so, so much. I am speechless. I am speechless. I remember when I had the idea for the series, I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested in seeing a more detailed perspective through the lives of my characters, especially the ones that were in Upscale or those that know the characters from Upscale. But after creating this world, the series has truly brought me so much happiness. The characters in the series are very different from the other characters on my channel, so it was a little bit challenging, but it was worth it. And thank you all so much for watching the series and for loving it as much as I love creating it.
Congratulations! A big hand not only goes to the creator, but the cast and crew. Also, Everly, if you ever need a stunt double, hit me up. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm sure you have plenty. Anyways, High Society was followed by Half Hearted by Sugar Diamond and Experiment 58 by Mr. Crazy Ray. Huh? Oh, oh, I just had the weirdest dream. Wednesday Adams came on stage with Thing and... Wait, did I just miss another guest star? Anyways, a big salute to all of the LPS series and videos that tug at our heartstrings. A round of applause on this wonderful Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday today. That's why Wednesday was here. Why did I not realize that sooner? Oh my gosh, I need to reevaluate. I don't even know the shows I watch. Anyways, our next shout out winner for this Wednesday is Chair Bear. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. Anyways, like without further ado, let's introduce our next co-host for this lovely evening. Hello, studios. Hello. No, that was a bad scene. Hello. Oh, that, that one sucked too, okay. More time, more time, more time. Hello. Here I am, Hello Studios, your lovely co-host. Um, and I would like to help announce the title for Most Creative LPS Tuber. Thank you so much, Daisy, for inviting me to co-host. I'm very excited about it. Um, anyway, oh, what a lovely hole in this plant. Um, what? <laughs> Without further ado, here are the nominations for the Most Creative LPS Tuber. CCR Television, LPS Cobalt, LPS Honey, LPS Louise, LPS Festival Films, Sweet LPS TV, The Alps TV. And with nearly 38% of your votes, the award goes to Sweet LPS TV. Oh man, I can't say this award I ever expected to receive, but I'm truly honored to have it. Sometimes I forget that my stories actually really mean anything to people because at the end of the day, I'm just a teenager writing over dramatic screenplays for our plastic animals to perform in our bed at 2 a.m. But I'm so glad you guys love them as much as I do because I've learned so much about storytelling over the years and the things I've created for my channel are some of the things I'm the most proud of, which is why I really can't express enough how much this means to me. Thank you all so, so much. Sweet was followed by CCR Television and LPS Honey. And our next shout out winner is Sky Pelt LPS. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. Now, of course, it's time to say goodbye to me and introduce our next co-host to this lovely ceremony. And his name is LPS Cobalt. Have fun co-hosting. Take it away, Cobalt. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> Everyone's like, get her off the screen. Okay, I'm leaving. I apologize for the interruption, folks, but we have some breaking news unfolding here. I'm coming to you live from the streets of Petopolis, where terror has struck. Several LPS tubers are currently being held hostage on the top floor of this apartment behind me. Now, police are still unsure exactly how to handle this hostage situation, because from what we do know so far is that the perpetrator is a super-powered individual. I will continue to remain here on the scene as the situation unfolds, and I will get back to you with further information. Ugh, let us let out! Us let us out. out! Let us out! Somebody help! Hey, let us out! Well, well, well. It seems as though you have all fallen into my trap. Listen, buddy, can you just let us out? I'm really supposed to be hosting an award right now, and everybody's counting on me. You LPS tubers always act like you run this town. Well... Things are about to change. Wait, what do you want with this anyways? What do I want? Well, it's quite simple actually. You see, we villains hardly get any recognition for the hard work we do. I mean, I'm sure none of you have any idea who I even am. Yeah, buddy, I've never seen you before in my life. You do know there's an award for villains, right? Wait, you really have a best villain award? <sighs> if I let you present that award, will you just let us out? <sighs> Give me that. And the nominees for Best LPS Villain are Autumn from Last Live by Thea LPS TV. 
Dreadlock from Super Zeros by LPS Alight Pause. Juliet from Perception by Sweet LPS TV. Kira from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. Michael from The Orphan by LPS Honey. Miles Bennett from Mystery of the Mass Killer by LPS Natalie. And Sarah Berry from The Ballad of Sarah Berry by Melanin Studios. And with over 35% of the votes, the award goes to Kira from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Thank you so much! I actually won something. I won something, really? Sydney, Sydney's always winning things. Best story, best writing, best grammar, best everything. Well, I don't care anymore because I won something. Oh, thank you. You have no idea what this means to me. Oh, hey, Kira. I forgot to tell you they um, sent in a trophy for you. It says best villain right at the bottom. Pretty cool, huh? Wait, what? What did you say? I said best villain. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that's what you all thought of me. Thanks. <laughs> well, anyway, looks like I gotta wrap this up, so I wanted to give a final thank you so much to everyone who voted for Kira. I'm honestly just as happy, if not even more happy, than she is for winning this award, for real. I um, was honestly kind of even shocked, but anyway, uh, thank you again, and um, let's watch the rest of the awards together. Uh, happy LPS <laughs> Happy LPS Tube Day! Congratulations. And of course, we can't forget our runner-ups. In second place, we have Miles Bennett from Mystery of the Mass Killer by LPS Natalie. And in third place, Michael from The Orphan by LPS Honey. Okay, you presented the award. Can you let us out now? No, what kind of a silly question is that? This is simply phase one of my evil plan. Stop right what? there! Are you guys okay? Whoa, who are you? Could you please let us out now? Right, 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 of course. Uh... What is this paper for, anyways? That's the award for best LPS hero. Maybe you should announce it. Wow, really? I'd be honored. But let me unchain you guys first. Well, there you have it, folks. The day has been saved by the town's newest superhero. Is there anything that you would like to say to the audience watching? Hey, don't thank me. I'm just doing my job. But, you know, there's a ton of other heroes out there, whether or not they have superpowers and it's important that we recognize all of them. So, because of that, I would like to happily announce all the nominees for this year's Best LPS Hero Award. The nominees are Chester from Super Zeros by LPS Alight Pause, Daphne from Forever 4 by M Loves LPS, Adana from The Dragon Princess by LPS Festival Films, Evelyn from The Orphan by LPS Honey. Lowry from Masks by LPS Louise. Opal from Mermaid Memories by Alice LPS. And Sydney from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. With nearly 28% of the votes, the award goes to Opal from Mermaid Memories by Alice LPS. Oh, we won best hero. We what? Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for voting for us this year. This year marks six years since the first episode of Mermaid Memories was released. How the time has flown. I still have such a warm place in my heart for this series. Thank you so much for supporting us. And, and Opal, my favourite hero. Also a big shout out to all the other heroes that were nominated. Hope you guys have a wonderful LPS Tube Day. Have a Mermaid Memories spectacular time at the rest of the LPS Tube Day award ceremony this year. Thank you! And of course, we can't forget our runner ups. In second place, we have Sydney from Copycat by Oakstar LPS. And in third place, we have Evelyn from The Orphan by LPS Honey. Congratulations! And to all the heroes out there, remember with great power comes great responsibility. Wow, congratulations! And one more thing, folks, before we return to your regularly scheduled programming, our next shout-out winner is Anna Kate. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. And now it is time to return to the rest of the LPS Tube Day Awards. I'm now going to turn it over to our next co-host to introduce the nominees for Best LPS Photographer. Wow, that definitely was some big news. Thanks for spreading the word, Eddie. Uh, Daisy? 
How did you get back here so fast? What do you mean? I was here the whole time. What? My brain is foggy. Why do I have a faint memory of being captured by a supervillain? Nah, I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, anyways, I think it's time we shift gears to our very next segment, which involves a lot of showing, but not a lot of telling. That's right, Justin. Now, over the years, we have seen a plethora of LPS here in the audience, as well as the LPS showcased online on Instagram, YouTube, etc., with their marvelous red carpet outfits to commemorate this special occasion. Oh, what's that? I think it was the sound of camera shutters. Guess it's time for an impromptu red carpet photo shoot, y'all! <laughs> well, that was a fast setup. Oh, and did we mention that the background changes based on each subject's personalities? Exhibit A, cupcake sprinkles for me and Justin. Don't they look delicious? Not as delicious as you, my lovely cupcake. Oh my gosh, Justin. Oh, you're gonna make me blush for this photo. Hey, check it out! The background matches our accessories. Hey, just be glad your fur doesn't clash with the carpet now. Hey, did you pick out this background, Bimini? Because this screams tell me you're in high school without telling me you're in high school. How else do you think we're gonna pass our final calculus exam? Good point. I just don't want to think about school today, okay? Shut up! I'm calling out the Triforce Triangles right now! Shout out to all you Zelda fans out there! Speaking of video games, I have a feeling we're about to one-up this photo shoot. Everyone gets a clean bill of health today! I feel like this one doesn't even need an explanation. Wait, I'm joining too! As long as we're all partaking in this theme, mind if I join? Yeah, come on! Well, since you insisted on doing a group shot, I might as well participate. And I don't even need an explanation for this. I was born for this theme. Mom?! And you said I was going overboard with this whole pink theme. Hey, check it out. They look like diamonds in the rough, like lapis lazulis with golden foil. <laughs> kind of like the song you sung. Our characters have faced a lot of difficulties, haven't they? Yep, but they still managed to shine in the end. What the? Uh, you two again? Oh yeah, now that's what I call a photo bomb. You can't call in a photo shoot impromptu unless we come in. Hey, you two, get off the stage this instant. Stage, red carpet, what's the difference? Enough. Come with us or we'll be forced to... 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 What? Finish your sentence. Holy dog biscuits. Hey, what's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Uh, hey, rude much? It's a figure of speech, Maddie. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Yeah, you have a right to be scared of us. Come on, let's go. Fight me. <sighs> May dog have mercy on you. <sighs> That's right. The power of villainy and revenge is on our side. <laughs> Uh, Rick, I don't think that's what they were running from. Oh, please, they're just a bunch of giant dog! What? What did I say? <sighs> Not again. Hey, wait a second. You look familiar. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be... The poodle that terrorized a quintent of LPS trying to do a dance for the very first LPS video on YouTube? Yeah, that's me. What? Talk about an icon! You were so incredible! Uh, you look different. Yeah, about that. Those five pets in the video uh, ended up filing a lawsuit for all the pain and emotional injuries that I caused. Long story short, I went into hiding and ended up changing my physical appearance so people wouldn't know who I am, but I guess that failed. Oh, okay, that's... Not as great as I thought. Talk about a dark past. But look on the bright side. If it wasn't for your guys' appearance in the very first LPS video in the history of YouTube, LPS as a platform probably wouldn't have existed the way it does now. Oh. Wow. I, I guess I never thought about it like that. 
Anyways, I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Daisy Dachshund, and this is my husband, Justin Spielberg. We're the host of the annual LPS Tube Day Award Ceremonies, and now we're hosting ceremony number 10. Oh yeah, I already know all about you guys. Wow, it's so nice to finally meet you in person. My name's Bubblegum. Whoa, okay, maybe not stand so close and break the stage. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. No harm done. Would you like to do the honors and introduce this next category? Really? Oh my gosh, this is such an honor. I I'd love to. This next category recognizes a plethora of LPS creators that partake in the profession and art of photography. Whether they be thumbnail designs, themed photo shoots on Instagram, or, in my case, stop motion animation, it's important to note that photography lays the foundation of videography, hence why we have 24 frames per second for most videos. And with that in mind, here are the nominees for Best LPS Photographer. LPS Che Paws LPS Cobalt LPS Honey LPS Festival Films MLP Fever and Sweet LPS TV Picture perfect performances, everyone. And now, with exactly 32% of your votes, the award goes to Sweet LPS TV. Congratulations. I'm really just in shock at this point. I don't even know what to say. LPS photography is something I've been doing even longer than LPS tube, and it's one of my favorite things to do, believe it or not, even when the lighting will not cooperate. Winning this award really just inspires me to keep working so much harder on my photography because I still know I have a lot to learn and a long way to grow. I encourage everyone to check out the other nominees in this category because they're all so incredibly talented. And once again, thank you all so, so much. I love you. Sweet LPS TV was followed by Che Paws and Alice LPS. I must say, there wasn't a single photo that I disliked from any of you. Now get ready to smile and say cheese to this. <gasps> Did someone say cheese? Huh? Uh, you again? And to answer your question, this is an LPS photography category. Photography? Ugh! Every time! Okay then, I'm surprised they didn't notice me. Anyways, our next shout out winner is Sailor LPS. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. And with that, it is my time to go and introduce our next co-host for the segment of Best LPS Music Video, LPS Louise. Yes, tube as a kid was all fun and games, but now to pay the bills, gotta pull your weight and get a job that actually pays. If you could, then you would just film all day, but Kappa came along and said no way, so what do you do to earn that living wage? You work nine to five, then spend a whole hour commuting, get home, realize all the chores you should be doing, laundry, cook and clean. Could still film, there might be time But you see the clock and it is Tea and midnight, nine to five Working hard to bring the pay home up And lose that dime Paying off your student loans Plus the rent and bills Add that up and then subtract Oh, and don't forget to include all the tax You know, you could help me instead of just standing over there singing all the time. Oh, sugar, I'm not paid to do math. I'm paid to sing about other people who are bad at math. I'm not bad at math. You can't do fractions, darling. Yeah, well, that's, that's because fractions are hard, okay? And I doubt anyone can do them. I can do them. Great, then you can help me with this. You know, you almost had me there, huh? But I'm too quick. 
I'm gonna go back to singing now. Hit him. You're still young but feel so old, wouldn't y'all if you were told popular came out in 2010? It's really hard to be grown up while still loving your childhood stuff, balancing them both so challenging. Working five to nine at basically your second job, spending so much time trying to get the perfect shot, write, craft, film, edit, burning the candle at both ends, but it's fine, you'll find time to sleep when you're dead. Five to nine as your own production crew, all kid, you can't lie, you're doing more than you can do, wanna have it all, a hundred films, a million shows, but honey, that's physically impossible, cause you work nine to five, and spend a whole hour commuting at home, realize all the chores you should be doing, laundry, cook and clean, but still film there might be time, but you see the clock and it is ten midnight. Still love it. Well, hello, y'all. I'm Doggy Parton, and the nominees for this... <laughs> hello, it's Louise. Very decidedly not American. <laughs> I'm here to announce the nominees for this year's Best LPS Music Video, which are... <laughs> Brutal by Oakstar LPS. Little Do You Know by Joel Z LPS Official Maggot Belly by LPS Cobalt Sorry Not Sorry by LPS Dingo Teddy Bear by Sweet LPS TV We Don't Talk About Bruno by Snowy's Pet Shop And with over 43% of your votes, the award goes to Brutal by Oakstar LPS. Well, I honestly don't know what to say, guys. This is insane to me. I've been watching these awards since I was 13. I'm 21 now, so I've been making the videos for a while now, you know? Um, and standing up here, finally, that's just surreal to me. Thank you so much to everyone who voted Brutal as Best Music Video. You guys are awesome, like, truly. Um, and the music video, uh, it was brutal to make. <laughs> Feel free to laugh if you want. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks guys and happy Christmas to you. Brutal was followed by We Don't Talk About Bruno by Snowy's Pet Shop and Little Do You Know by Joel Z LPS Official. And now for the shout out. Our next shout out winner is Super Sass World. Congratulations, your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. An owl personally write you a song. Nope, nope, that's not happening. I think we should probably end this segment now before I try to do that accent one more time. Um, so let's introduce our next co-host for the ceremony, Puppy Lover 863 And we're back on stage. Thank you so much again, Louise, for co-hosting that segment. And oh, by the way, I'm officially changing my alarm clock to that parody because I think we all need a little inspiration like this every morning. A big shout out goes to all the working LPS tubers in school or in workplace settings. I second that. And now it's time to introduce our next co-host for this category. What's up? <gasps> dad? dad? What the? Who are you? A, a, a dad? You're Nash and Charlie's dad? Well, of course I'm their dad. Can't you see the resemblance? Uh... You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. I don't remember you being on our list of co-hosts this year. Well, my boss told me that if they become TikTok famous and one of their clips reaches 100,000 views, they promise me a chance to be on stage, just like they were. What? We don't even have a hundred thousand views on our clips yet. Well, the one we posted on Instagram did reach 131,000 accounts just now. Uh-oh. Ha! Huh, that's what you get for making a fool of me online. Well, I guess fair is fair. 
Sure, why not? FYI, the theme is all about comedy and being funny. You sure you can handle this? <laughs> Please. You were looking at a two-time stand-up comedian champ, plus I was president of Comedy Club back in 1993. I have this in the bag. Right, well, we'll leave you to it. Comedy Club president in 1993. This should be good. <clears throat> How you doing? Um, I said... How you doing? <clears throat> okay, let me just make like a VHS and rewind this whole conversation with something else. What's a VHS? Is that like a CD? Something way before CDs. That's how people used to get entertainment. Oh. Hey kid, don't get started with all the heckling. Hey, I thought you were a comedian. Tell us a joke. Or am I already missing the punchline? Debbie. What? People heckle like that all the time at comedy clubs. Oh, she's really asking for it. Kid, are you dial-up internet? Because you're really loud and annoying and take too long to get it. Uh, don't you speak to my daughter like that. Although it is true, dial-up was the worst. Uh, Mom, you're taking his side? You know, Leonardo DiCaprio once proclaimed himself to be king of the world, but we all know how that ship sailed. After all, we all know that Will Smith was the OG prince. Of Bel Air, at least. Are any of you all getting this? Is this thing on? I didn't even understand half of anything he just right. said. So this one time, my buddy Ross decided to skip work to go out to a local bar, only to run into his boss a few hours later looking for him. Looking angry, the boss walked up to Ross and said, Why didn't you come into work? We all needed you this morning. To which Ross replies, We were on a break! Huh? Come on! This is the most basic of jokes! It's even more basic than the Macarena dance! Dude, if you did the Macarena in front of us now, we'd be staring at two one-hit wonders. Oh, savage burn, Bimini! Hey dude, the Borzai from TikTok just called. He wants to do your jokes for you! <laughs> Hey, what's a Borzo again? I think I missed that trend. Oh man, they're shutting me down faster than Blockbuster Video did. My poor dad, he's getting cream. What do you say we make like the friend's couch and pivot the conversation? Good call. Uh, you know what? You guys really must be dial-up internet if you keep interrupting my cellular connection. Hey! You know what else was invented in the 90s? SpongeBob! <gasps> That's right! That's right! All the memes you send to your friends conveying how much you're mocking something or adhere to your primitive instincts all came from the 90s. If the generations before us haven't lived through the simple and subpar humor of the 90s, then none of the jokes we use today would have existed, or at the very least resurrected, for the 2020s. So what if we had terrible internet connections and the show about basically nothing? We may not have gotten these jokes, but back then, they must have been peak culture back in the day. And you youngins are one to talk. A lot of choreographers nowadays are becoming so creative that they found a way to make riding a horse and sneezing into your elbow a dance, am I right? Oof, yikes. Really struck a chord with that one. <laughs> oh man, that was cringy. Oh gosh, glad those days are over. Oops, I did it again, didn't I folks? You've got mail. Uh, what was that sound at? That, my friend, is the sound of Elwood Edwards relaying a message. And that message is, here are the nominees for Funniest LPS Tuber. <music> Giraffe Girl 12345. Hello Studios. LPS Honey. LPS Lover. LPS Splash TV, Melalyn Studios, and Sugar Diamond. Radical work, everyone! Radical? Really? Oh, you kids make me feel young again. And now, with nearly 37% of your votes, the award goes to... Bada bing, bada boom, LPS Lover! Congratulations! Wow, what an honor! Thank you to everyone who voted for us! You rock!
They say laughter is the best medicine. We set out to make you laugh and to help you forget your troubles, and it seems to be working. That's right. We're in the business of beating up your worries with funny stuff. Y'all have taste. Let's go out for burgers sometime. <laughs> Here's to many more laughs and wacky shenanigans to come. Congratulations, Candy. And let me just be the first to say that your sense of humor and comedy and creativity is the bomb.com, as my dad would say from the 90s. Anyways, LPS Lover was followed by LPS Honey and LPS Splash TV. Man, that's the second time this ceremony we get to announce nominees, winners, and runner-ups. Before we bounce from the stage, our next shout-out winner is LPS Ash. Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Okay, where did that voice come from? That, my boys, is the spirit of AOL. May it rest in peace. Okay. Now we're gonna hand the mic over to the next co-host introducing the category for best LPS film, Sugar Diamond! In a school full of LPS lovers, everyone lived in harmony. Hi everyone, it's LPS Teresa Loves Teacup Pigs coming at you with another video. All right, everybody, I'm going to be auctioning off an authentic brick, and I will be starting the auction off at $20. All right, that's right, do we have any takers? Takers for $20? $20? Okay, how about $30, $30, $30, $30, $30? Man, I am so happy I have a friend like you. I know, there are so many great friends here on LPS, too. <laughs> I love our school! LPS Authentic G2. I have some G2 LPS for sale. <gasps> I mean, imagine if the LPS popular characters went to our school. How much drama would there be? I'm glad they don't, because our school is so peaceful. Nothing could ever ruin this. But little did that possum know, everything was about to change. Film me. I got this really cool LPS TikTok idea, like a TikTok dance with my LPS. So, um, yeah, just, just film me really quick. Um, okay, we're rolling. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, hey! No, Becky, I was just getting this part of my dance! Ah! Ah! Please, please don't hire me! Don't take my outfit! Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to hear a single noise. Okay, okay, we're up to $200, $200, that's $200, $200, anyone, 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 anyone? And everyone, I just wanted you to comment some questions on this video because I'll be doing a QA and a in my next video, and I'm so excited. Teresa, Teresa, we gotta run! Teresa, we gotta go! <laughs> Teresa, Teresa, wait, I can't run as fast as you, and... Uh, 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 zip it. No, I got uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Is she like Ariel? Is that Ursula? What's happening? Yo, I think she might be half owl. <laughs> Coming soon to a screen near you. Hey, man, what am I supposed to do with this? <clears throat> uh. And here are the nominees for the best LPS film. Nineteen eighty-seven by Thea LPS TV. Drop of color by Hello Studios. Famous by LPS Honey. Masks 2, Kellen by LPS Louise. Rainbow Christmas by Ethereal LPS. Telltale Heart by Cuddly Bunny LPS. The Big Top Circus by Rookie LPS. 
With nearly 27% of your votes, the award goes to 1987 by Thea LPS TV. Okay, um, 1987, hi. Before making this, um, I had never seen a short film or a series have a plotline that was completely set in a different decade. And the 80s, I thought it would be so much fun to try and replicate that through LPS. I am so grateful and happy that you all loved the film as much as I loved making it. I've always loved 80s movies and making 1987 was one of the most fun experiences on my channel that I've had so far. I'm also very glad that you guys enjoyed seeing um, Carter and April because even though they're not a canon relationship, I thought it would be really fun to kind of see their dynamic and even in a different decade. I am very excited to work on even more short films for you guys. So look forward to that and I'll see you very soon. 1987 was followed by Rainbow Christmas by Ethereal LPS and Drop of Color by Hello Studios. And the next shout out winner is... Pop! Congrats! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. And now it's time to introduce the next co-host of the ceremony. Welcome, LPS Light Paws. Why should Candle316 choose you to be her channel's mascot? It is my lifelong dream to be her mascot. <laughs> I would do anything, anything at all! You're not the typical mascot. I wouldn't get my hopes up. But next, I am Candle316's favorite color, so I think that gives me a good chance at being the mascot. Why would I make a good mascot? Um, hello? I'm a gorgeous main five pet. Enough said. Out of all the LPS, I think that I represent Candle 316 the most because we both have green eyes and we both wear glasses. So I just think it'd be really special if I was chosen to be her mascot. Candle 316's favorite animal is a bird like me. So what better for a channel mascot? I'm a unique animal, which would add fun and humor as the channel's mascot. Thank you all for your auditions. It was a difficult decision, but after much deliberation, I am happy to announce that Candle316's new mascot is... The Lookalike! Oh, congratulations! You'll make a great mascot. Yay! Nice going. Thank you so much. Angel 316 is ready to film! Where is the chosen mascot? I wonder... We can't wait! You're gonna have to go out there and be the mascot! Dream fulfilled! You! Dream destroyed. Where have you been? I was a little... Tied up. As much as I would have. Uh, wait, how about we co mascot? Co mascot? Is that allowed? Sure, why not? There's no law that says there can't be two mascots. Just hurry up. Dream. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna be best friends. I can tell. And if not, I'll just lock you in a storage closet. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the nominees for Favorite LPS Mascot Personality! <laughs> Beth from Hello Studios. Cobalt from LPS Cobalt. Emily from LPS Emily. Holly from LPS Festival Films. Maddie from LPS Honey. Misty from Sugar Diamond. Sweet from Sweet LPS TV. With over 28% of your votes, 
The award goes to... Beth from Hello Studios! Hello, my dears. A little blue birdie told me that I got nominated for a very uh, special award uh, called Best Mascot. Well, I heard this and I'm truly humbled and thank you so much. Again? Uh, oh, After uh, oh, oh, all dear. my calculations, all of my theories, all of my checking, it has happened again? Um, it couldn't be. That is absolutely, utterly, most undeniably preposterous. Well, since the subject is here herself, I might as well ask. Beth, <clears throat> how did you become best mascot? Oh, uh, I'm... Well, you know what? What's the point? It has already happened. There's no way to change it. Weren't my pleas enough? No, I'm After sure they did After everything I did I... when Best Ship was announced years ago, everything that I did for my beloved cream apple pie Cream was apple for pie? Nothing. Nothing. What kind of world is this if my analysis and research cannot confirm my predictions? Are my fans even there? Do they exist? Of course, I'm sure they didn't mean to offend. Um, this might be the next big question for me to find an answer to. I would first need to collect the assumed number of fans and then find moments of evidence. Thank you guys so much for nominating Ben. I do change my mascot all the time. Joseph was jealous. You know how he is. It's okay. Beth, the beautiful pink eyebrowed lady from Extraordinary Magic that is wow that's the best way to describe her apparently i just started using her as my mascot uh because she was sitting on my desk and she looks cute and that's basically <laughs> the only reason i use her all the time i don't really have a designated mascot but she does suit uh most of my videos very well so have a lovely day my sweet sweet children and thank you so much for nominating me i love you 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 hug sex hug beth was followed by sweet from sweet lps tv and Emily from LPS Emily. Our next shout out winner is Sunny Stuff. Congratulations. Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. Now it's time to introduce our next co-host for the day, Puppy Lover 863. And we're back. Nice to see everyone today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Monica, and you may know me best from skits like High School vs. College, Parent Traps, and, more recently, being an only child like. In fact, more of you found out about me because of the only child skit, which has become our top video of 2021. But I can't be the only one to get all the credit. Those of you that saw the skit may already know that I have a cousin who just happened to be an only child as well and helped me with the script for this video and voice lines. Introducing my cousin in real life, Isabel. Hi everyone, it's so great to be here. I'm Isabel and I'm Monica's cousin. You guys left so many lovely comments about my cousin's voice and have had a few questions about her. So for this next segment, I thought we'd do a short and sweet cousin interview with the one and only Isabel. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, Monica. Thank you so much for having me and congrats again to all the nominees. All right, let's start with something easy. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Some things about myself is that I love to collect crystals and making jewelry and I love my two cats, Bingo and Bongo. All right, and this next question comes from our fans on YouTube and Instagram. A lot of our fans want to know how far apart in age are we? Monica and I are about one month apart. I'm a Libra and she's a Sagittarius. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> she's the older twin among us. So a lot of people already know that my major and occupation focuses on psychology, but what kind of work do you do? I'm an accountant. By the way, guys, she has her own office. How sick is that? Meanwhile, my office is from home, but we make it work. Hashtag girl bosses. <laughs> Anyways, next question. Outside of work, what are some of your hobbies? My favorite hobbies are being active, making jewelry, and I also love playing Stardew Valley. Oh, Stardew Valley. By the way, she and I used to play on her Sega Genesis all the time when we were kids. Ah, <sighs> memories. We were both gamers at heart. All right, this next question is a hard one. Favorite color? My favorite color is lavender because I love the flower lavender. Hey, those are my favorites too. Oh, and look at our chairs. 
They match our clothes and our fur. Oh, did we plan this? I don't think we did. Now let's go back in time for this one. What was your favorite memory of us together? My favorite memory of us together is when we were about five years old and we lost Monica's cat. And we ended up putting flyers all over the house that we handmade ourselves that we had a lost cat. And we taped goldfish to every single flyer, hoping that Monica's cat would be found. And in the end, she was found. But that was my favorite memory with Monica. Oh my gosh, I remembered that. Oh, my poor cat. He was so shy and would hide in all sorts of places. And one time he hid under my bed and us as scrawny six-year-olds lifted the mattress halfway up just to get to him. Oh my gosh. Now something a lot of our fans are wondering about, what was it like filming the only child skit with me? I've never voice acted for anything before and doing the only child skit was so much fun and all of your comments were so great so thank you so much for commenting it definitely makes me want to continue to do voice acting oh that's awesome oh, i'm glad to hear everyone has been so encouraging and let's keep the encouragement coming write them in the comments guys and speaking of would you be down to do another collab together doing collabs with my cousin monica is so much fun so i absolutely would love to do another collab together Oh, yay! That's great! Oh, man, I have a couple of ideas in mind, but they're not fully fleshed out yet. We'll talk again soon. While most of the times we're a one-man or one-woman show, it's always more fun to work on videos and projects with another person, and multiple people for that matter, especially with good friends and family, like you, Isabel, by my side. Which is the perfect segue into this next award. Isabel, would you care to do the honors? Here are the nominees for Best LPS Collab Video. Extraordinary Magic by Hello Studios. Hot and Cold by Sweet LPS TV featuring Oblivion LPS. Obsession Natalie by Is Biz Films featuring Melalyn Studios. Popularity High by LPS Flash TV featuring LPS Hannah, CCR Television, LPS Little Pro, LPS Lucy's, and LPS Kodiak Pro. Say So by LPS Akon featuring Cuddly Bunny LPS, Ollie LPS 13, LPS Echo Official, Zero, and LPS Demon Productions. The Great Meme Wars by Sugar Diamond and Lily LPS. And Woman by Cuddly Bunny LPS. Congratulations! Ooh, my tongue was almost twisted listing off all of these amazing collaborators. And with over 37% of your votes, the award goes to... Hot and Cold by Sweet LPS TV featuring Oblivion LPS. Congratulations! OMG! Chloe, you won't believe what happened. What's up? Our collab won Best LPS Collab at the LPS Tube Day Awards. Wait, you're kidding, right? Is it really that hard to believe? Your part was, well, kind of unbelievably good. No way. Yours was so good, too. We'll just have to agree to disagree, then. But thank you all so much for voting for us. We really appreciate it, and we love you all so, so much. Congratulations to you both on this award. Outstanding teamwork. Hot and Cold was followed by Extraordinary Magic by Hello Studios and Popularity High by LPS Splash TV. Congrats to all the nominees. And now for our next shout out winner, who is... It's Raining Cats, Dogs, and Books! Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the canvas. But before we go, I do have one last question for you, Isabel. Do you have any final words you'd like to say to our audience? Thanks again for having me, Monica. It was so much fun being here and announcing the nominees and winners. Congrats again to everyone who was here and won and didn't win and the nominees. You can cut this part out. I, I'm, I'm talking too much. Okay, bye. Don't worry guys, we'll move these chairs for you. Wow, that interview was such a good idea. Maybe I should interview my cousin Destiny next. Hey, you two, you might want to sit tight for a second. We're still locating the microphone. Must have misplaced it again. Okay, I guess we'll be here a while. Hmm? Do you 
Hear that? Hear what? Uh, I don't hear anything. It sounds like something's leaking. Or is that rushing water? What's going on? Huh? Yeah, I hear it too. Ah, gangway! <laughs> Guys, you need to get out of here. <sighs> oh no, not again. What the? How did you get back uh... in here? <laughs> This is an emergency! This is not a drill! Everyone has to go! Huh, <laughs> nice try. We're not falling for your schemes again. No, no! We really mean this time! We, we tried to escape through one of the pipes, but little did we know it was a water pipe and, well, one thing led to another, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, unless you want to be drowned, we're getting out of here! Ditto! Water pipes? <gasps> Daisy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, if it's possible that I'm thinking what you're thinking, that sound we were hearing must be- Well, that escalated quickly. Of all the things that possibly could go wrong, how did we not account for our plumbing system? Well, in our defense, we never saw it coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey guys, check it out! The water stopped! That was fast! Well, the main pipe has been repaired and is fully operational. How on earth did you manage to finish so quickly? Trust me, me and my brother have seen much, much worse in this plumbing industry. <laughs> but this was nothing, right Luigi? <coughs> yeah, definitely! There was this one time when this cricket Oh gosh, we almost flooded the whole house! Okay, we don't need to go there, bro. Hmm, now that I think about it, you two look really familiar. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. You must have seen our ad on local cable. I've always thought I had the face of Chris Pratt, but a lot of people keep telling me I look like Charles Martinet. Who the heck even is that? Yeah, I don't see it, but I still tip you guys 20% for your swift business. It'll be on the invoice. Well, we appreciate the business. Come on, Mario, let's go. Dad's making mushroom pizza. <sighs> Mushrooms. Well, gotta go. Yahoo! It's a wonder how they make their living off of plumbing, especially considering that it's a small business. Well, everyone has to start somewhere, right? Just like we did. For sure. This next award not only allows us to reflect on our humble beginnings for us bigger creators, but is also an important moment to commemorate the small victories of smaller LPS tubers. We can say from first-hand experience that it can be challenging to grow a small channel, whether that's finding your niche of videos, picking your mascot, or producing films on a small budget. But if you give it your all and have faith that your videos and channel will mean something to others, they will be. One person, one camera, one stage, and at least one LPS is really all it takes to lay the foundation of your channel, and everything else is the fertilizer that can help your channel flourish and grow. And don't be afraid to switch things up, take your characters and stories up a notch higher. Experimentation has a way of surprising us in the best way when you least expect it, and sometimes the things you think aren't special can actually be the thing that many others will think otherwise. And finally, to all the small LPS tubers watching out there, we believe in you. And we hope that this award can be a springboard for this year's nominees for Favorite Rising LPS Tuber. Cuddly Bunny LPS. Ethereal LPS. LPS Cobalt. Melowin Studios. Oakstar LPS. Rookie LPS and Thea LPS TV. Congratulations, everybody! And now, with nearly 33% of your votes, almost a third, the award goes to. Ethereal LPS! Congratulations! Hey guys, it's Ethereal LPS here. Wow. Never. Did I ever think anything like this would ever happen? I think every LPS tuber agrees that from the very first time we touch a camera, we experience some really incredible things. To many people, Littlest Pet Shop isn't anything more than a plastic toy, but in this community, it becomes so much more than that. 
Anything can become anything else. In this community, our toys, our cameras, our fingers, and our hearts become magic wands. Some things that definitely last forever are stories and the ways in which they impact our people. Thank you all so, so much beyond words for giving me this, and here's to our wonderful community and many more years of it. Congratulations on this award, Katie! And hopefully by the time this video comes out, congratulations on hitting 5,500 subscribers! That's a huge accomplishment! Amazing! You're halfway to 10,000 subscribers, girl! And Ethereal LPS was followed by Thea LPS TV and LPS Cobalt! Congratulations to our winner, runner-ups, and nominees, and for all the small LPS tubers out there. With that in mind, it looks like it's safe to go back in now, but we may need some time to get it resettled. So with that in mind, please enjoy this pre-recorded segment. Oh, uh, let me turn the camera off. Still want your burning questions about LPS tube answer? What does it really take to make an LPS video? And how do they do it? Well, look no further than volume two of the inside look at LPS Studios. I film in a little section of my room and it has my desk, my editing monitor, and all my lights. And a little fun fact, I think LPS Hannah and I might have the same desk from Ikea. I noticed it in her room tour. I film on a plain white desk. I film on this desk, but if I have any sets that are way too large to fit on the desk, then I would just have it on a picnic table or even just on the floor. Here is my filming area. We're on the set of LPS Popular right now at the library, and I've got a light up there, and there's the different things I use to puppeteer them up there, and some accessories on the wall. It's a mess, I'm sorry, but all of it is on top of just a cupboard. <laughs> I use a Canon PowerShot SX740HS. I use a Canon Rebel T6 to film my videos. I film my videos with a Canon DSLR. The exact model is EOS 200D. I use this Nikon camera, which apparently is a D5300 with a zoom lens apparently 18 to 55 millimeters. And I have some magnifiers for that to do the extra close-up shots, but I don't often use them. But I do not record the audio on this camera. Because the microphone is so poor on this crusty old thing, in my brother's room we have this little kind of makeshift recording booth, which is just kind of in the doorway here. And there's a lightsaber there. Obviously we don't use that, but we've got this here to collect the sound. And this is the rather expensive posh microphone we do the separate voice acting on. I'm not too sure what my first actual LPS is, but there's a pretty good chance it was this short hair cat right here. My first LPS was this cow. Unfortunately, I don't have these LPS anymore, but the first ones I ever got were from the Blythe Loves Tokyo Dressed for Tea set. Because I actually did not have LPS growing up, despite being well old enough to have had them, this Pets in the City pet is in fact my very first LPS. I keep most of my DIY LPS sets in there, it's a mess. And I keep the rest of them up above in my closet. I keep my sets in a few different places depending on what they are. Like for example, I keep my backgrounds for High Society, one of my series, in a folder. But the accessories for my sets are on a shelf or a box near my filming supplies. I don't exactly have one designated place where I keep all my sets, but instead I put them in containers or random boxes, organizing them by different scenes. And I try to neatly um, pack them away on shelves along with the walls, as you can see. I use the sets literally in most rooms of the house, to be honest. There's so much different stuff I use. But underneath this piece of furniture here, we have a whole huge stack of prints, which is super important for how I make my sets. And then up on the shelves here, I keep some buildings and things, which is kind of the bulk of the sets and the little accessories are just kept all over the place. My editing software is Adobe Premiere Elements 2021. My editing software is iMovie and Final Cut Pro, but I found that I actually work a lot faster on iMovie, so that's where I normally edit my videos. I mainly use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos, 
but if I edit them on my phone, I use CapCut. The editing software I use for editing LPS Popular Remake, for example, is actually Filmora. It's just so nice and easy to use. It's not fancy, and I know a lot of people are using better stuff than that, but for me it does the job and that's all I want. And for editing the audio, which of course we record separately, we use Audacity, so that's actually two softwares, and I edit all the pictures in Photoshop, so that's three. My LPS collection is kept right next to my desk. My general LPS collection is divided into a few different drawers, but I keep my main LPS collection, like my characters, displayed all the time, so they're kind of all lined up so I know where they are, and it makes it really easy when I want to film a video. I keep all of my LPS on the top shelf of my desk. I just have them laid out randomly, really, except for the characters that I'm using for a series or a film that I'm currently working on, on this makeshift staircase. Okay, I keep all my LPS in this box here, my girl Barbie, and then we have a little pet shop tin with all kind of the uh, more expensive ones in there. It's kind of mainly big five ones just because they're the most expensive. Should anything happen to them to replace? And then underneath this busted old tin we have bags of categorised LPS. I know this is not how you're supposed to store them. I know it's not good. I promise I'm careful with them. Nothing happens to them in here. Uh, I just don't have space to display all the stuff I have. My first video is a skit all about ice cream, and it features Misty as the star. My first actual video is now privated, and it was me opening MLP blind bags. My first LPS video on my channel was actually an introduction to my channel, and it talked about what kind of videos I would be making, like music videos or series. The first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube was this skit about the Good Samaritan, but it's no longer on my channel because it is too embarrassing to still have it there. My very first LPS video is probably not the easiest to answer because I did do some kind of collection unboxing videos. I don't really count those. My very first story video was, in fact, this little Star Wars parody. Not many people cared about it at the time, but I still think it's really cute. This has been your inside look at LPS Studios Volume 2. And now, here are the nominees for favorite LPS tuber. Kaisley LPS. LPS A Light Pause. LPS Festival Films. Oblivion LPS. Skyla. Snowy's Pet Shop. And The Little Pet Lover. Congrats to all our lovely nominees. By the way, we're all safe and accounted for on stage. The good news is we were able to save a lot of our props and no one got hurt. The bad news is our platform was connected to the main water pipe and had to be demolished. So it looks like we'll be hanging out on the floor for the remainder of the ceremony. But anyways, with over 40% of your votes, the award goes to... The Little Pet Lover! Congratulations! Oh my gosh, should all my LPS characters be in the background as well? Maybe, yeah. Give me a sec. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even done yet, and I don't think they're all gonna fit. We gotta, we gotta rework this. I am so sorry. No way, oh my god, um, you guys didn't see anything. Anyway, hey guys, it's the little pet lover, and oh my gosh, I'm so shocked that I won the award for favorite LPS tuber, and I couldn't be more honored. I started my journey on LPS tube 12 years ago, and these two were my mascots. I remember filming my first videos on the carpet in one take, especially with this one. For me back then, making videos was just playing with my LPS toys in front of a camera. Looking back to 2011 versus now, young me would have never thought I'd come this far, and I only have you guys to thank for watching the range of videos that I have, with the music videos that take countless hours to edit, film, and plan storylines for, to my series like Other Way Around or The Real Me Inside, and even my films like my Halloween or Christmas specials. I have so much love for all of you. 
Thank you for watching my videos, for supporting me all these years. Even if there's breaks in between them and periods of me not uploading because of college or mental health, just knowing that you guys are here means the world to me. Now I want this to be a testament to you all, whether you've been here in the community for a while or you've just started. I know as we all get older, things change, like we have to work or we have other things to take care of, anything. But if you love something, then keep going at it and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. LPS Tube has been a constant source of creativity for me, a place for storytelling and for meeting others where we're all bonded by the same thing, Littlest Pet Shops. So I have you guys to thank for this and I couldn't be more honored and grateful for this award. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Awesome, congratulations on the award, Jazz. And a little pet lover was followed by LPS Festival Films and LPS A Light Paws. Congratulations to you all! Oh geez, this has been a wild and crazy ride we've been on to celebrate our ceremonies reaching double digits. Nothing's gone according to plan at all, but it's been a fun time regardless. And now, we've made it to the final award of the show, which awards the top favorite LPS tuber. We originally had last year's winner, CCR Television, slated to co-host this award, but unfortunately, due to unexpected changes in plans, he wasn't able to participate and make an appearance this time around. But Carter still sends his best wishes and lots of love to everyone in attendance tonight as we carry forward on his behalf. Let's give him a big round of applause, everybody! All right. <clears throat> To recap, we initially made the top favorite LPS Tuber award to recognize LPS Tubers who had at least 100,000 subscribers. Keep in mind, this was back when it was easier for creators to reach this milestone, around the year 2016. However, because of the changes made to the YouTube platform that have been suppressing LPS content rather than boosting it, that milestone seems a bit far-fetched, now more than ever. As of today, the number of LPS tubers with 100k subscribers has shrunk significantly due to changes like COPPA, not to mention those who have left our community and those who have already been awarded the title years prior. That being said, we've decided that as long as our playing field, YouTube, changes, then the rules of our sport, the award ceremony, should change with it. That is why we've cut our qualifications in half for the first time in our ceremony's history. Now the top favorite LPS Tuber award recognizes LPS Tubers with more than 50,000 subscribers, which should be more doable in YouTube's current state. Oh, we also did the same for the last two awards. Favorite LPS Tuber awards creators with at least 10,000 subscribers, but less than 50,000. And favorite rising LPS Tuber honors those with less than 10,000 subs. On top of that, we're also seeing a number of small LPS Tuber awards popping up on the platform to recognize even more of our fellow community members. We'll leave a few links in, des in the description if you want to check them out after our show is over. Please go show them some love and leave a comment or two with words of encouragement and appreciation for contributing to the festivities. After all, if the Grammys and Academy Awards can coexist, there can be more than one awards show in our community too. But whatever the outcome of tonight becomes, whether it be a fresh face or one of the longer running channels that'll be walking away with this last award of the year, the ceremonies and LPS Tube Day as a whole was created for a bigger purpose, to bring our community together and celebrate our accomplishments as one. I can't even begin to express how humbling it is to read everyone's comments on social media, sharing their excitement gratitude, and encouragement for this show every single year. Your hope for the LPS community's future gives us hope too. While it's true that the revival of LPS in 2024 has the potential to revive our LPS community tenfold, our future is for all of us to decide. We've said it before and we'll say it again. How can LPS2 be dead when all of us are here still active, making content, and all together for this show right now. With dozens of unique LPS creators, characters, and videos, new and old, being recognized on this very special day. In fact, 
It's because of all of your everlasting love, support, enthusiasm, patience, and overall encouragement that we can stand here on stage and celebrate nine years of LPS Tube Day with 10 ceremonies hosted and counting. If I could give out an honorary award for best LPS community member, it would go to every single one of you for playing your part. Thank you so much for sticking around and just being plain awesome. We love you all so much, our lovely cupcakes. A round of applause for all of you. But now we won't leave you hanging any longer. Without further ado, here are the nominees for Top Favorite LPS Tuber. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that Giraffe Girl 12345. Hello, studios. LPS Lover. Mimi Stars. Mr. Crazy Ray. Pia's Little Customs. And Sugar Diamond. Congratulations to all of our nominees. You should be proud. Proud to be YouTubers, but prouder to be LPS tubers. As LPS Hannah would say. But before we get started, we're going to have a few of our friends and family from the audience announce the shout out winners, runner ups, and then the winner of this award. Okay, Dylan, Jake, Layla, and Sophie, please come down to the stage. Yay! Thank you. You got this, Sophie. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Dylan. And by the way, I am a girl, always have been and always will be. Now that we've got that cleared up, I'm here to announce the 20th and final shout out winner of the year, which goes to... Farah LPS! Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. Hey guys, it's Jake. You all know me best because I am Justin's nephew. <laughs> uh, don't mean to humble brag there. Anyways, I'm here to announce the first runner up. Our third place winner for top favorite LPS tuber goes to Sugar Diamond. Congratulations, Jen. Hi everyone, it's Layla here. You may know me as Daisy's twin sister and as one of the daredevils in hashtag dare us. Fun fact, PuppyLover863 designated me as her second favorite LPS next to Daisy, and I'm here to announce the second place winner for top favorite LPS tuber, which is... Hello Studios! Congratulations, Audie! All right, last but not least, I'm Sophie Hathaway, and you may know me from PuppyLover863's very first series, The Big Move, and this is Sophie in her original form. And for tonight, I have the award of announcing our 10th top favorite LPS tuber. Oh boy, it's a big responsibility, but we won't leave you hanging any longer. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Anyways, now with over 31% of your votes, the winner for top favorite LPS tuber in 2023 in our 10th ceremony ever goes to... To receive this award and be recognized for my efforts is truly magical. Some people don't understand what I do. I've been told that I'm too old to be making LPS videos. And to that, I say, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love. My channel is turning 16 years old this August. I've been here since the beginning. So if you're ever wondering if you're too old, then look at me. Someday. We will all die, so don't live with regrets. Do what you love, because that's what I'm going to do. I would like to give a big thank you to my dear fans, the Magical Ponies. I'd also like to thank my dad, who provided me with the equipment to start making my videos, and his support. Special thanks to my mom for her encouragement, my sisters for their participation, my granny for her contributions, and my husband Jay for his love and assistance. 
And finally, I'd like to thank my characters who continually inspire me. <laughs> hey, are you alright? I'm... I'm just so happy! It's a dream come true! Yes, it is, Sparky. And I couldn't have done it without you. I'm getting teary-eyed myself. Congratulations on your win, Candy. Let me just say that it was a very, very close match, but in the end, her voters really came through. This marks LPS Lover's third win of the year, and overall, she has won every single category she was nominated for as one of the longest running LPS tubers and LPS channels on this platform. What an honor. It was long overdue. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done. I've composed myself. And with that, this concludes the 10th LPS Tube Day Award Ceremony on this channel. We thank you all so much, our lovely cupcakes, for making this happen. For those of you who just tuned in, who've nominated, who have voted, and all of the above. None of this would be possible without every single one of you, every single member of this community, actively engaging in it today. None of these nominees or winners could have possibly been selected by all of us. It was ultimately your decision, the viewers. But hold on for just a second. Just because this celebration is over on our channel doesn't mean that the day has to be. You can keep the day and the community alive by using the hashtags LPSTubeDay and LPSTubeDay2023 so we can get this day trending across all social medias. You can write them down in the comments, write them down on social media, anything that gets LPS, LPS Tube, and LPS Tube Day up there in the platform, in trending, whatever, uh, 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 like internet lingos you can think of, you get the idea. All right, now that we're done handing out awards, I think we all know what time it is. Dance party! Huh? Oh, hey, I didn't know our Himalayan block could do that. You saw it light up rainbows this whole time and you didn't know that? <laughs> Hindsight is twenty twenty, I guess. <laughs> guess we won't need that disco ball after all. Never mind then. Oh yeah, time to party! Yee, this is worth staying up past my bedtime! Not it, not it! Oh man, every time. You better go after her. <sighs> You know, in all the chaos of getting everything ready, I forgot today was our anniversary. Oh really, is that so? <laughs> I hope you're not too mad. Well, don't worry, because I forgot too. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Hey, Nash. Oh. <laughs> Hey bro, I got you something. Oh what? You didn't have to. <laughs> it isn't much, but a little something for old time's sake. <gasps> Shut up! A real authentic vine? Oh man, I thought these were discontinued! You're the best, dude! <laughs> oh shucks, it was nothing. I actually got you something too. Hang on. What? But it's not my birthday. <laughs> something to aid you in our quest to save the clock app. Don't get emotional. It's perfect! <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? Huh? I'm just bringing this tray of cookies to my girlfriend. What, you think I'm gonna eat them all in one sitting? No, I came here because you forgot the lid. Don't want the cookies to get spoiled now, don't you? Oh, wow. Thanks, Dina. Don't worry, if these cookies are too hard, I'll just whip out the bread. 
Just don't fill up before dinner. I know where you live. What am I saying? We live together. Hey, do you think we'll ever get a third movie someday? Um, I mean, I'm considering it. Who knows? Okay, that totally wasn't vague and ambiguous at all. Hey, Tilly, so... I know we had a bit of a bumpy start today. Do you think maybe we could start over with no hard feelings? I guess. No hard feelings. At least there's one good thing that came out of me going viral. Because I'm the most prominently featured pet, you owe me some royalties. Oh, yes. Well, we can definitely make that arrangement. Then you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Well, I've waited long enough. <gasps> Let's skip to the good part! <laughs> Dude, that's just wrong. At least share. <laughs> Move over, Uncle Justin, it's my turn. Okay, well, you could do a better job saving some for the rest of us. I will you human! <laughs> Trinity? What the huh? Trinity, how did you get here? <laughs> did you come here for the cake too? Well, I guess she takes the cake as one of our surprise guest stars. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, guys, is anyone worried that the camera battery is gonna die in like 10 seconds? Oh shoot, we'll make this quick. Thanks so much everybody for tuning in to 10 years of ceremonies. We'll see you again in next year's show. Bye! Bye!